right. I'll turn it on the Discord. I, I don't have the board because we've tried doing it with the board before yeah. and trying to keep up. Yeah. And then it's, oh, this detail's wrong, that detail's wrong. So That's always my favorite. I'm, I'm going to have the board after the trade deadline's passed and do a video on who's gone where. I may even use the massive board for that. Howdy, everybody. Oh, there you go. Because we know people are going to try the, the fake trade thing, too. So yes. So, really I know not very many people are here yet, but I'm not going to read what you guys write down as trades. Nope. Because a lot of people like to try and get me to say things that aren't actually true. Uh -huh. So, I'm just not reading them. Yep. You're welcome. <clears throat> I've got TSN on. TSN, I, I seem to prefer theirs today over Sportsnet. I, I did get my... I just got my tea. Don't you worry. I actually got two teas. See, I've got my, my hot tea and then I got a, another tea as um, backup because I know this will not be enough tea for this live stream. No, <laughs> not for today. So, no. don't you worry. I'm set. I got my tea. <laughs> there's, a, there's a video going live on the channel about the three trades that just happened over the last mm. hour. That's why I'm a minute late for starting this live mm. stream because I wanted to make sure that was on the channel. So that when everybody says, did you see, did you see, I can say, Do yes. we like Ghost? Ghost is fantastic. We've seen them live. They were amazing. I would like them to come back. Yep. I would love to take our kids. I think the kids would love seeing Ghost live. They're very fun. But um, I definitely need to bring my headphones last time because that was a really loud concert. But I have very sensitive ears and I totally wear headphones at concerts because I'm old like that. Um, if you were a Blue Jackets fan, what would you reasonably expect for a bounce back next season? 0500 would be base case, in my opinion, with the weak blue line. Uh, if Wierenski's healthy, if they win the draft lottery, they can do better than 500. Uh, the draft lottery this year is going to be absolutely bonkers uh, because it, whoever wins that, it's going to make a major difference. Absolutely major difference. <laughs> most shocking trade so far i don't know if there's been any that are really shocking mm -hmm. i was surprised that dallas picked up domi it makes a lot of sense that they did but i was kind of surprised when that happened would klingberg be a fit on islanders um he's playing better lately than he has been i don't know if the islanders would want to make mm. that move uh because i i Again, we'll see how the prices are on players. They seem to be reasonable right now. I haven't seen any trades that I think are crazy and way out there. So we'll see. But Klingberg could fit with the Islanders. I, I don't know if he would suit their defensive style, though. A lot of people saying Quick was most shocking. I agree. That was well, crazy. That was really disappointing from just from the way that LA did it. Yeah. That they find out after the game and they're on the flight, flight home and everything. That was lame. In my opinion, that was lame. So just but. me or the Rangers playing an unusual amount of back-to-backs. Uh, what's your assessment, Tarasenko, so far? He's been up and down so far. The one thing I'll say about back-to-backs, apparently, I think it's Colorado mm. that was upset. Colorado's had, I think, four back-to-backs in the last month, something like that. The way the schedule is is set up, um, it teams get really, really tired. Like last night, Boston was playing. I think it was their sixth game in nine nights or something ridiculous. Uh, with with bye weeks, with breaks that they they bake into the schedule and the eighty two game schedule, I think it's it's necessary. But yeah, it's it's tough. And then trying to get a beat on who's really playing the best when you know this team's played four games in six days, it, it can be it can be kind of tough. But every team's going through a pretty tough schedule this year. King should have let Quick retire as a king. Yeah. But and I think they were trying to. They could not to find a taker for Cal Peterson's contract. Couldn't find one. I still think that was awful. But I really like mm -hmm. Quick. And I like Quick that, too. That I know he's had a bad year. I know it's his last year, but still, that was lame. Uh, I think you're a bit too bullish on Florida making the playoffs. I'll Sabers Sens have a better winning percentage than them. Uh, we'll see. The Islanders uh, right now are. The one that's seen as probably being the most vulnerable, they've played the most games out of anybody else, so they have the least amount of control. The one thing with Florida is they keep disappointing me. Like last mm -hmm. night was was a disappointment where it's just 
the the sense of urgency doesn't seem to be there. They're a team that could absolutely use some kind of change right now. Thank you for what you do, guys. You are amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. <clears throat> um, thoughts on Quick to Vegas? One of the most interesting turn of events. Way better than Blue Jackets for him. See, Quick in Vegas, I think, can work. Quick's still capable of having good games and playing well. And I, I think that's, I think he's going to have uh, a bounce back with Vegas. And I can't wait to see his mask. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> quick in a Vegas mask could be awesome. Yeah, um, because that's what's important. <laughs> Does Vegas do anything more? Uh, cap space is always going to be an issue for Vegas, but I I wouldn't rule it out. Um, a lot of teams though I think got their their trades in and their their activity in already. Gosh, a lot of people want to know what you're eating. That's a it's, fruit and fiber muffin. I'm it's old. Got a muffin. It's a fruit and fiber muffin. Because <laughs> I'm old. Because we're old people. Yeah. <laughs> Muffins and tea. Muffins taste better as you get older. It's just an old person thing. <laughs> hey, kitty. <laughs> I need to buy more jerseys. I see there's a little bit of space back there. Shh, mom. Just. Mm -mm. No. Uh, is Kevin Adams being too conservative with his youth and fearful of? Bringing in outsides. One thing you have to consider at the deadline is it's great to make a bunch of moves and all of that. However, um, if you're making moves and it it disturbs the team's chemistry, um, that's one thing you have to be worried about. And with Carolina, they have a very solid lineup from top to bottom. I don't understand why they don't score more goals. I don't get it. <clears throat> but I, I, I do think that that's part of it. And maybe they don't see somebody on the market um, who's going to fix Carolina. Now with Kevin Adams, that's Buffalo. Sorry about that. I was thinking Kevin Adams, Carolina, Corey Stillman. Uh, Buffalo, I think it's a matter of they, they're they not in win-now mode. So they're below the playoff line. I think if you over-correct or you try to go for it now, I think that's a mistake. How are you feeling about the Canucks training away the first-round pick? How happy might talk it be by yet another rebuild? Players sure aren't. Um, Talkett said at his first presser that he was going to, uh, that the Canucks were in a rebuild, which I thought was the first time that I've heard that from anybody associated with the Vancouver Canucks. Um, they didn't trade their own first round pick. That was the Islanders' first round pick they traded. They're not going to trade their own because they know that one's going to be really valuable. The Islanders one, we'll see. But with where Vancouver is right now, um, I, I, I really think that what happens with the trade with the uh, draft lottery could decide where they go next year. So if they win the draft lottery and they get Bedard or they get Fantilli, they can look forward to getting better a lot quicker. If they don't, it's going to take more time. Any chance Kane flops with the Rangers? There's always that chance. He gets picked up at the deadline. It's a new team. He's been in Chicago for, over, you know, for what, 15 years. There's always that chance. What's a potential return for Pedersen? Which Patterson? Because Patterson, Vancouver Patterson's not going anywhere, and I don't think Pittsburgh Patterson's going anywhere either. Um, but yeah, Eli Elias Patterson here in Vancouver, he's not going anywhere. They will not trade Patterson. That would be ridiculous. Our oatmeal raisin cookies also an old thing. Absolutely, but I always loved oatmeal raisin cookies. I do I if they have uh, spices in them. My like grandmother, like the my grandmother made good ones. Cinnamon and such in them. My grandmother. They're made even such better good if they've got molasses in them. Yum. Okay. Uh, Russo oh, it's down to the bottom. There it is. Yeah. Russo bottom reporting well. They're considering Dumba, Dumba. or Dumba uh, as their rental saying it's cheaper, picks salary retention, etc. To let him walk this summer. Thoughts. I I don't think they're. I don't think they've been able to find on the trade market what they want for Dumba. So I, I think holding on to him probably makes a lot of sense. Uh, Minnesota's in kind of that no man's land where I don't know if they're a contender or not. I, I really don't. One week they look great. The next week they look iffy. Now, lately they've looked really good. Um, and and trading out Dumba, of course, the Dumba for Besser rumors have been out there for years. I don't know how much there's been to them. That trade would would make a lot of sense right now if Besser didn't have term. Uh, Matthew Kachuk got traded to Ottawa. LOL joke. Ottawa will win four more games or six to make the wild card. Can the Jets 
stay in the wild card. The Jets can stay in the wild card. What's going to help they them is... They keep losing. But what's going to help them is it doesn't look like Calgary's <laughs> buying. It, it looks like Calgary's probably mostly stay, standing pat. And the Flames are trending in the wrong direction. They're five points out of the playoffs. Really, all the Jets need to do is probably get to like 90 points. And I think they can get to 90 points. So... Yeah, I think I think the Jets will be fine. I think they'll stay in the wild card. What they do in the playoffs, that that might not be a pretty picture because they've got to get their game together. Uh, TSN mock draft lottery predicts that Canucks will move up and pick second overall. Thoughts? We both said the same thing. <laughs> Means they won't win. Thanks, guys. Yeah, they're not going. The, the Canucks don't don't <laughs> don't win draft lotteries. Uh, it's a tradition on this channel going back to before I met Yvonne here. So I don't expect that to change. I think that tradition will continue. I'll make sure I've got the mm -hmm. flying V jersey on for that draft lottery and we'll watch them lose again. Oh, I see some people are noticing I made them mod. I did make a couple more mods the other day yep. in preparation for this. I made mods of people that yep. I know on the channel and I've talked to. Although at this bit. at this in point, fact, it's not it's not a crazy number. Things. It's actually similar to what no, we had the yeah, other day. Yeah, this is doing pretty good and yep. people are behaving so <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, guys. And we have awesome mods, too. I see mods doing a lot on here and telling people to behave. So that always makes things go way smoother. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, the cats and the rabbits are all doing great this morning. Let me see they if are, I can find they're all... yeah, Where's your bun bun? Oh, there she's over there. Hey. Standing by the wall. <clears throat> see you, bun. We've got Shadow and Bear are right over there, and they're sleeping. Azrael's right over there. Hey, is Pixel in here? I don't think Pixel's in here right now. And Maple, she's probably climbing on something. Okay. Oh, and I see Lars just linked our Discord. Discord is pretty cool. If you want to talk to people. Okay. You think Goudreau regrets... Spurning New Jersey? I don't know if he regrets it. If he did, he wouldn't admit it publicly. Uh, it hasn't worked out as well in Columbus as I think he had hoped, or definitely people in Columbus had hoped. But they're going to draft in the top five. They're going to get a really good player out of the draft. And, uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how it turns out. Okay, ESPN buried NHL yesterday, and that host saying NHL don't count. Yep. Disgusting. But why do you think hockey was a lot bigger 20, 30 years ago in the USA? I, I think what's happened with the NHL, I think that it's it's stagnated in terms of its popularity and other leagues found ways to get more popular, like the NBA. It wasn't that it was in the 80s when the NHL was more popular than the NBA. And then the NBA started marketing itself better and they started figuring out a way to appeal to a younger audience better. And the NHL's just never quite caught up. They're trying, but everything they're doing doesn't seem to be making a dent in the the separate separation from themselves and the other three big sports in the states i also want to say this i don't think that's going to change i think the nhl needs to accept where they are in their spot and make sure that they're they're still appealing to their current fans are you an oatmeal guy i like as I mean, in the cooked cereal i i enjoy oatmeal i would prefer that over cream of wheat no just personally no i nope if it's like the cereal, ugh, it's nauseating. But in cookies or oatmeal bread, it's great. But as a smushy, slimy cereal, mm -mm 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 -mm. no, it's good. You get a big glob on your oh, spoon, and so, then it just slides nope, right yeah, down. Yeah, that's exactly nope. See, it's it's texture. It's texture so as much gross. as flavor that you don't. I eat. am very much texture. Anything sensitive. mushy, anything mm -mm. mushy, you won't eat. Nope. It. Mm -mm. I think no. that's why you don't like cream corn either. Blech. Because I prefer to chew my own food. <laughs> mm, okay. Will Calgary Flames... Wait. Will Calgary Flames make a trade at all or not today? You know, doing, they'll make some kind That's of deal, I would think. But they're not... Apparently not buyers. That's what Chris Johnson's reporting. Like, they were in on JVR. And they've dropped out of the hunt for JVR. Because they don't see themselves as buyers right now. So they don't want to give up a bunch of picks. They're in a rough spot. They're five points out, and they don't have games in hand on the teams they're chasing. So it, it definitely makes things more difficult. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Yes. Pancakes. Waffles. You're wrong. 
No. Nope. You are though. There are there are going to be a lot of I like our groups comments tonight. Yeah. A lot of a lot of GMs that say yeah, there wasn't a trade out there. I like our team as is. Okay. Mm just making sure I'm not skipping Tampa days. Bay done making moves. If so how did they do? You know, Tampa Bay over the last I'll say 10 days to 2 weeks, I'm concerned about their play. It's really slipped. I wonder if there's a lack of urgency because maybe they see where they are in the standings. They're not likely to catch Toronto. They don't have to worry about any pressure from underneath them. So they're third. They're kind of locked in that spot. Tampa Bay, I, I never have any doubt they're going to be ready for the playoffs. Since the 2019 failure, they've been pretty darn hard to beat. So they'll they'll figure it out. They'll get it together, no matter what they do or don't do today. Mm, Josh, you're wrong, but you know. How do yeah, I feel about Macaulay throwing the block on Marsh on the other day? <laughs> feel about the Bruins being 100 mm. points already? I'm. I still oh, think okay. the Bruins' record is absolutely ridiculous. I I'm floored at how well. I I will say this: there was a um, there was a question on TSN of whether or not to take the Bruins to be in the final or every other team in the East. And to me, that's an easy question to answer. Every other team in the East, because seven out of eight rather than one out of eight. And I'm not convinced that Boston's a perfect team as much as everybody else right now. I think they're a very good team. They've had an excellent run. A best of seven series is totally different. Um, as for the Macaulay block on on Marshawn, um, Macaulay knows how to skate. And he's, yeah, I mean, it happens. Uh, Marshawn expected him to get out of the way as well. Um, do you have any further thoughts on what Vegas gave up for quick? I was fine with the goalie group as is, but that won't stop me from getting his Jersey. I, I think Vegas mm. did really well. I, I think Vegas did a very good job. Um, I kind of feel for Michael Hutchinson now, cause apparently it was his birthday and they traded him on his birthday. So that's, that's gotta be tough for him. Uh, people forget, you know, these guys all have families and they have, you know, a life and they got kids and school and such. And so getting traded all of a sudden and uprooted for six to eight weeks, it's got to throw everything off. Oh, I know you guys are tool fans opinion on perfect circle. Perfect circle is great. We saw them in concert. They were They're awesome. Really fun. Yeah. They aren't tool, nope. but anything that Maynard does. The noose is such a fantastic song. It is. We do. There's quite a few songs that we really like. Counting bodies like circle. sheep to the rhythm of the war drums. Oh, love that one. I, Ask the Vegas about wearing their chrome domes with their day glow jerseys. Even if the lights go out, they should still have enough light to play. I, I don't understand the chrome domes with <laughs> the gray jerseys. so goofy. I don't. Like the Cylon helmets that the Kings wear with those their are thirds. Those so bad too. Those they are fine because they at least match the, the garishness of the jersey. The Vegas gold helmets with the gray jerseys doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> A toe in the crease was a funny situation, but it lowered the popularity of the NHL. Is Toronto simply a buy for teams like Colorado, Boston, or Tampa? No, Toronto. See, the thing that people forget is that, yes, Toronto loses in game seven. It's the big joke, right? But they still get to game seven. So they're still not an easy out in the playoffs. It's just that once you get to that game seven situation, I think a lot of it is they, they just psych themselves out or there's something that just mentally goes off with them. And I think that's where that's where the break is. Uh, that was talked about in the documentary, which looked at the team and looked at their flame out against the Montreal Canadiens, oh. which to me was the most dramatic one. So, yeah, um, I think that uh, Toronto can do it. It's just a matter of being able to get over that game seven hump. They need to win in a game five or a game six to finish the series is what they need to do. Sporting Carolina and Edmonton. Expecting any big moves from either? Shout out to the cats and bunnies. I I wore Carolina because they've been kind of quiet mostly, and I feel like there should be something coming, but we'll we'll see if that is in fact the case. I just wore this jersey because it's awesome. So yeah. I thought about wearing the same jersey, and I thought now nah, that'd just be weird. <laughs> there was a the couple streams ago we both wore the same team. We really try to not do that. Yeah. But uh, what do you think the biggest deal will be today? Today, I, you know, I think I think the big deals, the biggest <clears throat> deals are probably already done from a few days ago. Um, I, I don't know that there are any more big deals to be made. For instance, the trade bait board has James Van Riemsdyk as the number one name on the list. So if there's a big trade, it'd have to be somebody that we're not thinking about as being on the market. Has Detroit given up this year? Yes. 
They absolutely have given up this year. Um, I think I think it's just a matter of Eiserman looking at the market and saying I can get something back for these players. My favorite oh, Ontario gosh. gambling. I ad. really don't like the gambling ads. They kind of really irritate me. I I don't know I that do I have, have a favorite. They all irritate yeah, me. Yeah, I don't think I have a favorite. There's just so much gambling advertising. It's just absolutely insane. Um, I I mean I understand that they pay the ad rates, so that's. That's how that works, but uh, I really don't like them. I don't. No, I, I really don't think it's cool that they have so many gambling. No, it's ads. a ton, and then they're all over the gambling boards. Gambling hurts they're so during, many people. Uh, in between, so I don't even families. watch. I don't even watch the in between period stuff now because they always say, "Oh, let's go to the big board and see what the gamblers have to." Say. Like I don't, I don't care. Oh, now the odds mm. say this. I don't care. I want to watch a hockey game. I don't gamble. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry guys, I am sniffing a lot. I have tons of allergies. My eyes are watering like crazy. I've been sneezing for days. I took all my medicine and still it only does so much. So re- I'm allergic to everything. <clears throat> They're re-showing so. Bruce Boudreaux giving them a, a pep talk from this morning. <clears throat> that's how that's how busy it is. We don't have an air filter in this room though, because it would be really loud, but the rest of the house is filled with air filters because mm-hmm. I'm allergic to everything. <laughs> Uh, the Avs camera? had Washington retain on Eller. Would that imply they're going to make a move? Otherwise, the retention wouldn't have been necessary and they could have got him with a lower round draft pick. Um, well, as a GM, you want to make sure you still have that wiggle room. So if you can get a team to give you that wiggle room, it's for the best. Um, I think Colorado would love to get another upgrade of some sort down the middle. I don't know that that's out, out there for them today. Um, but, but we'll see. And then one big one that's out there that mm. every now and then they're talking about is maybe JT Miller gets traded today. I can't see that, but uh, maybe. Is it possible Kevin Adams is hesitant to add knowing the team? Like they add, won't knowing beat. the team likely won't beat Boston or Carolina in round one. There we go. I mean, that would be part of it, but also you've got a good young team. I, I wouldn't want to mess with that chemistry right now. Uh, and I, I also wouldn't want to give away part of a future for a team that is is learning how to win. I, I think that, and I mean, this is always the conversation this time of year, and I did the video on what draft picks are worth. But I, I think it's still important for Buffalo to keep adding young pieces and make sure they're they're built. So if they can get a really cheap deal done today, I think they probably do. But outside of that, there's there's not much point. Are the Predators done? Fabro, Soros, Lincoln. Um, Fabro's name's been out there this year a few times. I don't think he's going now that Ekholm's gone. I don't think Fabro's going anywhere. Uh, Nashville, of course, trading out Grandland as well. Uh, if they can get any value back on anybody with an expiring contract, they'll try. Because I think Nashville's thrown in the towel. The interesting thing being, they're one point back in Calgary, and they've got games in hand on Calgary. So that <clears throat> might be... Part of what we're seeing with Calgary being quiet today, too, the realization that you're within five points of the playoffs, sure, but the odds of getting in are pretty low. So Nashville, it'll only be if it's an expiring contract, I would think. Uh, We'll see what they end up doing. Is the channel Um, busier at the trade deadline or draft? I think draft. Uh, Draft is really busy. This year's trade deadline has been absolutely ridiculous. The one thing is all of the trades made during the season have been squashed into less than a week this year. So I think it makes it look like there's more trades than we normally see. I'll have to take a look at that. But yeah, I I think it'll be busier during the draft because everybody knows how good Bedard is. I think this year's draft is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, The McDavid Gretzky ad is painful. I don't mind that one. That's that way, bud. I don't mind that. I don't, you know, and what I like about it is that it goes from, hey, he's going to be really excited you're here to telling him to piss off within 30 seconds. I think that's great. I think that's absolutely perfect. And then the racing with the Zambonis as well. Oh, yeah. I always think your mother with the Zamboni racing because it's like she your would mother would want to do that. She would. <laughs> if you and your mother had a Zamboni yes. race, she'd be so excited. She would. <laughs> There's so many comments, though. I don't know if I'll see her respond, but she probably would agree with that. Oh, yeah. So, Yotes ended up discarding Jakob and... Jacob. Oh, is it Jacob? Okay. Yep. And Shane for Voracek and Kane's contract salary cap dump fire. 
the the coyotes are aware of where they're at they're at least a couple of years away from contending for a playoff spot mm-hmm. they've weaponized their their cap space and they've done it well there's a good young team coming up there i like what arizona's doing mm-hmm. um hopefully in may the arena vote goes their way and then we can start talking about what kind of team they're going to be when they move into the new arena that'd be an interesting video would be so if they're going to be in there in three years what might that roster look like? And I guess Chikrin, they felt like his value was never going to be higher. Um, how many Arizona IR lists this year? 19? There's They have $28.5 million on their injured reserve. And then they have another, I think it's $5.5 million in dead cap money from buyouts. Right, right. So right. that's $33 million Holy for moly. players that aren't on their team and aren't playing. That's a lot. But it's it's they they get draft capital, they get future assets, they get things for that. And uh if you're if you're not in a position to contend, I understand. I know people don't like it, but it is what it is. And I think the flat cap has caused this to be more and more exacerbated. It's like people are mad, oh Boston's cap circumvention. We've had 15, 16 teams in the NHL that should be over the cap, but LTIR keeps them below. So, no, this isn't something new. Half the league has been using LTIR to stay under the cap this year. This is just, this is how the finances work now in the NHL. Okay, did you get any of the throwback Adidas jerseys? Um, the, the, the new reverse retros, I got all 32. I know there's a new Team Classic set coming. Uh, ben told me he's got a new Team Classic set coming. I think it's later this month. And he's not sure which ones that he knows which teams there. He's just not sure whether they're home or away or what they are. So I'll probably get one or two from that. Normally when he gets them, they're ones that I already have in the collection. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I did. I did get all of them. Domi is huge. He fills that revolving door for us. Domi, the idea of having Domi and Marchman on the same line is, is interesting. I, I think Dallas is going to be a real pain to play against with Domi mm-hmm. in the lineup. With the moves he's made, do you think Iserman sees the Wings as playoff team this year, or is he putting all of his eggs in the basket for next year? I, I think it's about building for next year. He's creating some cap space too today, and yesterday, like the Verana deal, creates cap space. I think they're. I think he's going to be active when we get to free agency. I think free agency is going to be very telling about where he sees this team going, and I think they're going to be in a position to pick up one or two pretty decent names on the market. Do you think Besser's return will be underwhelming? Yes. Uh, Brock Besser, because he's got he's got term left and it's a $6.65 million cap hit, I expect that Canuck fans will be disappointed at what they get back for him. Um, yes, like the other day, somebody, was, somebody said on the channel, well, they could get two seconds for him. And I thought, no, they can't. Uh, if they could get two second round draft picks for Besser, he would already be gone. Um, the, the reality is that teams want the Canucks to retain on Besser, and they would really rather not. So until that changes, I think he's a Canuck. Um, neither of us drink beer, as nope. we both think it's gross. And Beer's nasty. We really don't drink alcohol. No, nope. we really don't. Um, Shannon's drinking uh, Dr Pepper Cream Zero Cream Soda Zero. I got this in the states so like a good. month ago. It's so delicious. But soda in the states is kind of ex- well, everything in the states right now is kind of expensive. It's so delicious. And then I made myself a chai. A vanilla chai this morning um where we live we have a lot of uh, a large indian population so we have these really fun indian grocery stores and they have awesome chai spice it's already mixed they can just put in your tea it's great so chai tea again <laughs> been drinking a lot of chai lately it's great um will the wild make oh, a move to get up. more goal scoring dola bill Car- Caril need help um, if the wild can, can pick up a scorer, I think they will. I don't know that they're necessarily actively seeking that in the market right now. Garen's issue has to be, all right, we don't have a lot of cap space. Like going back to Besser, Besser would love to play in Minnesota. And I think the wild would love to have him. It's about the cap space. Okay. What are your thoughts on the new Mitchell and Ness blue line jerseys? Also while they're done, or do you think there is more love the channel? Uh, the Mitchell and Ness jerseys are okay. I guess the, the <clears throat> colors are a bit off on some of them. People are really, really 
off. People I will say they're really expensive. don't like them. They're expensive. They are definitely pricey, but Mitchell and Ness stuff normally is. I know their hats are really pricey too. I would love to fun. see them in person though. Mitchell and Ness usually makes really fun stuff. Yeah. So I would want to see it in person, but I, I don't think they're as bad as I did. I did see judging, that Nemestikov but... got traded to Winnipeg. Uh, there's <clears> a video <throat> up on the channel. I was posting at the time this, this live stream went live. Mm -hmm. That was why we were a tad late because he had yeah. to do a video really, really quick. Yeah. Um, before we did this, otherwise the whole live stream would be filled did with, you see, hey, did you see, did you see, see this? Did you, did you see? see this? Yeah. Because that's how live streams go. But you guys are doing really good. Thanks for being nice and normal people and not being all jerky. Which teams so. win the division this year? Um, <laughs> Vegas is going to be the team to beat, I think, still in the Pacific. Um, I like Colorado in the Central. I still think Carolina holds on to the Metro, although New Jersey's going to make that tough. And clearly, clearly Buffalo is going to win the Atlantic. They're going to just steamroll. Boston's going to lose every game from here. Buffalo is going to win every game from here. It's going to be bonkers. Um, we have five cats and six rabbits. Yeah, I know lots of animals. Not picking up right now, but. They're and they're all very spoiled, and we have the right the pets Instagram, and they have yeah, way more too. followers <laughs> than than I do. Um, yeah, we have a lot of animals, and they're all very happy and very spoiled. Um, who do you Sorry. think are going to be the wild cards in the East? Love your channel. Greetings from Brazil. You know, Thank if you. Florida can get their game together, Florida should be in there. <clears throat> Pittsburgh's going to be one. One of the wild cards. I I like Florida's chances. Uh, it's going to be, I think, between them and the Islanders because it looks like Detroit's dropped out and Washington's dropped out with the moves that they've they've both made. So it should come down to either the Islanders or Florida. Although Ottawa's hasn't dropped out and they've they've basically buying on Chicker and decided they're in this. So it'd be mm. entertaining if Ottawa stayed in it. Um, do you anticipate the Canucks moving one of their large contracts today? There's a lot of talk, but I'm not sure what to think. Uh, I, you know, the, the JT Miller discussion is, is entertaining and all. I, I just don't see it today. <laughs> I think if Miller's going to get moved, it'll be something around the draft. I, I don't think JT Miller's going anywhere today. So wait, you have a pet Instagram? We do. <laughs> That's why people watch the channel though, for the. The cats, the cats and the rabbits. Cats and the rabbits. Pretty sure. Um, do you ever see the Canucks taking on a big UFA in the upcoming years, assuming the retool slash rebrand goes well? If I, I think the Canucks are should be should be at least two to three years away from acquiring somebody on the market. The problem the Canucks have always had is overestimating what the team's going to do and overvaluing their assets. That's mm. That's been why they won't go into a rebuild. So like, we're close, we're close. And what makes me nervous with the Hronik deal and with some of the other things that Canucks are doing is, this summer we may hear from Patrick Alvin, we don't think we're that far off. We think we're close. And that's when you start looking in the free agent market. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case, but it could happen. Ten dollars to pick up a cat. Well, he just left. Oh. <laughs> Here. Come here. She's a baby. She just she's, she's a noisy baby. Hi. Were you sleeping? She's our most talkative cat. She yeah, she's very chatty. Aren't you, sweetie? Aren't you? Are you chatty? Yes. Thoughts on no suspension for Watson. League not allowing emergency recall for Rangers last night or tomorrow is BS. I, I don't know that there was intent <clears throat> there. I agreed with the game, the game misconduct. That's part of the reason why you don't necessarily see suspensions. If a guy's kicked out of the game, they consider that to be similar to equivalent of a suspension. Um, and and for, for Watson... Again, you know, it was Tyler Mott who was his teammate a week before. I, I didn't see the intent. I think that he was a little overzealous there. Um, yeah, and I guess the NHL looked and said, all right, no suspension. Uh, but there's there's been a lot of calls that have been kind of questionable one way or the other. Does Tampa make any moves today? They should. I, I think they need a little bit of help on their blue line. I think that they're a team that right now, 
they're they're on the edge in terms of being a, a true contender right now. That being said, I've said that in previous years. There was a power rankings two years ago where they ended up 12th at the end of the regular season because they weren't playing well, and then playoff time, they turn it on. Maybe that's part of what's going on. Recent Kane losses have me worried. Am I overreacting? Do we need more scoring? If so, is a last-minute trade possible? There's two <clears> things <throat> with Carolina. A, could they use more scoring? Yes. B, something I mentioned after last year's playoffs when they got eliminated was this is a team that should score more. Uh, when you look at the individual stats of their players, these guys should have more goals. So I don't know if it's them or if it's the systems being employed by the Carolina Hurricanes that restrict their offense. Because there are times when they're behind, Rod Brindamore just lets them go, and it's it's absolutely bonkers. So I, I think they need to loosen up the reins a little bit on guys like Sveshnikov. Let them go out there and be as creative as possible the real reason i watch the fur babies that's true see we get it that's yeah there's there's people who Understand. say i don't know why this guy talks on this cat channel i know, I know there's a lot of talk and interrupting the cat videos yeah do you think nashville will trade soros in a rebuild or try and hold on to him as the goalie of the future there there's i can't see soros going anywhere i think that soros is one of those key guys they're not going to move like forsberg like yossi um Askarov is the the goalie of the future, so to speak. When Askarov's ready, then maybe they look at Soros and what's going on. That could be three, four years down the road. But for right now, yeah, Soros is their goalie. I can't see him going anywhere. What do you think Bedard numbers are next year? Bedard, with the amount of hype around him, I, I would think that he should be a point-per-game player next season, maybe a little bit above. The thing is, it depends who drafts him. So if he ends up in Columbus... He could be at the 65, 70 point range. But if he ended up in like a Vancouver team, that's usually pretty fit, pretty loose with its offense. He could end up with 85 plus points. Um, Bedard's going to be special. Uh, any moves by the Sharks today? Uh, the Sharks traded Nemesnikov to the Jets. Uh, Nemesnikov didn't play a game with San Jose. So if you got a Nemesnikov jersey when they acquired him for Asimont, uh, that was a mistake. Did you see the duck and cat fight on TikTok? No. I'm too old for TikTok. I don't. No, she I'm is. not. I, I, I am. have Shannon's TikTok. I really old. don't use I am. it. I, I, I can honestly say I don't ever go on there. I do not have TikTok. I don't have you the gotta, app on you my gotta phone. got to do the dances. I think the dances are stupid. Gotta, I mean, good for people do, doing something, do but I'm, yep, I'm too old. I think it's ridiculous. I never see jazz hands. <clears throat> Should do jazz no, hands and all. The no, dances. I'm not sick. I have <clears throat> allergies. I would say that like I have bad allergies this time of year, but it's most of the times of the year I have different allergies. I'm allergic to air and breathing and plants and animals. And we don't have an air filter in this room because it's too loud. We have lots outside of this room. <laughs> In your opinion, are the Pens too old to compete? <clears throat> Age is definitely an issue. Their core is older. Uh, usually with an older team, you might be dealing with one that's slower, so you have to play smart. Uh, that being said, if Pittsburgh gets in. They, they're still going to be dangerous in a first-round series. I think the one question mark I have with Pittsburgh is the last time Jari was in the playoffs, he got beat up pretty bad. Uh, is the goaltending going to be enough for Pittsburgh? in the playoffs. Do you think the Pens keep their playoff streak alive or do you think the streak gets broken this year? No, they'll make the playoffs. Uh they'll they'll win enough games to make the playoffs. I don't know that they do much in set playoffs, but I think they'll win enough games to get there. Do you think Toronto will clean house if they don't make it past the first round? They didn't give an extension to Kyle Dubas, and so if you're Dubas, you have to be at least aware that your job might be on the line. And I think that's why he's made some of the moves he has. What's your gut reaction on how GMs for Arizona, Chicago, and Blue Jackets handled the trade deadline? Honestly, leaves a bit of a bad taste in my mouth. I do like that when Columbus got Jonathan Quick, that they immediately switched him out when he decided he didn't want to go to Columbus. I think that was nice in their part. Uh, Chicago's been stripping it down all year, so stripping it down again at the deadline doesn't surprise me. Uh, Chicago really wants that one of those top two draft picks they're, they've got a good shot at at least getting top five <clears throat> his draft stacked. So they're not the only one. There are a lot of teams right now that clearly have decided to throw in the towel this year for the idea of maybe getting a Bedard. 
Hi guys, Bruins fan from the UK here. What are your thoughts on the Passion Act deal? The term and price aside, I'm just relieved we we got it done. I'm very happy about the Passion Act deal. It's expensive, but it had to be. He's one of the best goal scorers in the game. He has single-handedly kept Boston in games. Uh, it's Olmark, it's Pasternak. Both of them, to me, have been the team MVP this year. They've been absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Lars is right. Please don't write in all caps. It is annoying. Again, we're too old for that kind of crap. They will be deleted. I will not read a comment. This yes, all in caps. Absolutely. I don't like being yelled at. Uh, does Philly draft Will Smith? Uh, will Smith <laughs> could will likely go top five. So they did a mock draft on your day. Will Smith was, was, was a fifth on their mock draft. They had him ahead of Michkov, which kind of surprised me. Tell tells me that Michkov's stock might be dropping. Um, I'll be doing prospect videos soon. So once we get past the draft lottery, which is that far from now. Um, but yeah, Smith's going to go pretty high. Uh, he's moved up this draft class pretty well. Getting the Of the freshly same. traded UFAs, Domi, Kane, Eller, who do you see re-signing? Uh, Domi, I think, ends up going back to Chicago. I'd honestly be very surprised if he doesn't go back to Chicago. Um, we'll see what happens with Kane. If Kane will stay in the city in New York. I think he'll give him a really good deal on, on a, on a next contract. If they win, if they win and if they go far in the playoffs, Kane will probably stick around on a sweetheart deal with the Rangers. Shannon absolutely has moves. I just don't think he wants to share them with the world on TikTok. I've thought about pointing the camera away from me and just <laughs> moving the camera around and going, I'm doing all the dances dance time You're i just welcome. i haven't posting on tiktok because it just uh, i don't know it, it getting i think it's silly but figuring out which which videos are going to hit and which ones aren't it's like the shorts the shorts on youtube that are like oh do shorts do shorts so the shorts over the last month have made seven dollars on this channel seven dollars good job shannon so Putting in the work that's because even said oh it's a, it's a new source of income but it's it's seven you get yourself like a burger seven seven dollars yeah. would almost pay for parking no that's just me no, seven uh, bucks <clears throat> i've seen a lot more the question people are always asking us what beer we drink we don't i don't like no beer, beer. i don't like beer get the feeling that the kraken are just content making the playoffs not worried too much about winning in the playoffs agree or disagree Yes, the the Seattle if they make the playoffs that's a win. But what that also means is that when you get into that playoff series, they'll be probably a little bit more loose and relaxed than the team they're against. So if it's say let's say it's the Oilers and the Kraken. Let's just say LA falls into a wild card spot and it's the Oilers and the Kraken. That could be tough for the Oilers because there's a lot of pressure on them and there's none on Seattle. They're just happy to be there. That could be a very dangerous series for Edmonton. Okay, forget all the people who despise the Bruins. Can I hear Shannon's truest, most honest thoughts on the Bruins and their inevitable cup run, especially with their additions at the deadline this year? I think that for <clears throat> Boston, they should win. The, the, only, the only caveat I throw in there is, in a best-of-seven series, we haven't seen Olmark out-duel an op opposing goaltender. We haven't seen Swayman outduel an opposing goaltender at the other end. It is the one thing that has me a little bit minorly concerned about Boston. They can score. <clears throat> their defense is excellent. Uh, their work rate is really good. As long as that stays stays high, I think they're in really, really, really good shape. <clears throat> Love the channel. As a mutual Ducks fan, would you like to see their orange thirds as their standard home jersey? Greetings from Sweden. One one rumor I heard was that they were going to make that the regular jersey and have a white version for the away. I wonder if the reverse retro looking a lot like that would have caused them to push <clears throat> that back. So it's possible that this summer we see a change or maybe they wait until 2024 when the new manufacturer comes in and then you have a brand new whole set of jerseys and then they may make a change there. Teams have used the change, like when, when Reebok went to Adidas, there were teams that made changes. Maybe Anaheim does it next year. Should there be an official award for most game-winning goals? It's a statistic that should get more attention. It's tough, though, because let's say a game's 5-3, to three <clears throat> and you've got the game-winning goal as the fourth goal, but then a team just scores a goal that doesn't mean anything with five seconds left. Well, now yours, yours isn't the game-winner. Um, it, it is, it is something to keep track of. It's something that I know I've, I've mentioned in career videos with players. 
I, I don't know that there would ever be an award for it, though. <clears throat> Playoffs for Buffalo next year. Allergies suck. Bunnies and kitties make everything better. Even if they're the cause of the allergies. I am. Yes. Bunny. We call our bunnies and kitties our emotional support animals. And yes, allergies suck. But I'm really glad that there are way better allergy medicines now than when I was a kid. So when I was a kid, it was like I was always sick. I always had a headache. My mm -hmm. eyes watered constantly. I mean, they still do. But mm -hmm. And, and I, I couldn't ever breathe. I moved her and she didn't oh, even wake up because no. she knows. <clears throat> I just wanted to get her in frame. That's that real. Did you answer the playoffs for Buffalo next year? Uh, Buffalo next <clears throat> year, they should. This is a really good young team they have. I really like Buffalo quite a bit. Um, I, I really hope they make the – I honestly, I'd love to see them make it this year. I don't know if that's going to happen because, again, much like Florida, Florida and Buffalo, both of them just seem to shoot themselves in the foot. What is your expected draft order by team? Goodness. Oh, my expected draft order. Um, I I mean, number one, Columbus has been at near the bottom of the league. I don't know that that hmm. necessarily changes. Um, honestly, if Anaheim got the number one pick and got Bedard, that could turn that team around very very quickly you'd have Zegers, you'd have Bedard you'd have Terry pretty good offense and um probably Chicago number two <clears throat> Columbus number three Vancouver will probably end up drafting somewhere between sixth and eighth which is fine this is a deep draft and we'll see how it goes from there no that'd be seven dollars in American YouTube pays in American dollars so uh, it's like eighty dollars <clears throat> Canadian <laughs> isn't that like ten Almost. I uh, think the Isles have any shot at Besser. Would a second round pick get it done? Yes. But <clears throat> if you trade for Besser, uh, the problem there is that there's the, the cap hit, the money. She's just moving a piece of paper. So She's for it needs to move right now. For the Islanders to pick that up, <clears throat> they'd, they'd have to eat the entire contract and nobody wants to eat the entire contract. Sometimes animals are loud. Fun, fun. There's a little piece of cardboard on the ground, and she has decided that it needs to move right now. Santa Bun. Sorry, there's a lot of chat, so I'm trying to... Yeah. It, sometimes it skips, and then I have to try and find where I was so I'm not missing people. There, okay, there we go. If Canucks trade Miller, what do you think the return for him would be? It'll be underwhelming, because... The Canucks are trying to trade out money. So if they trade Miller and it's a seven year contract at 8 million a year, they're trading. Honestly, Canuck fans probably mm. would be upset with the trade. I would be kind of surprised if there was a first rounder involved. I, I think that because money and, and cap hits and all that are so, so big during this flat cap era, I, I think the return would probably be less than one might think. How could Chicago get rid of King? They had to. Uh, his contract was up. And you don't want to lose them for nothing. Uh, they already have a situation now with Taves where they're going to lose Taves for nothing. Is Chuck Fletcher the worst GM in hockey? He's made some questionable moves. There are questionable moves that get made by other GMs as well. Um, it, I, I think the problem with Fletcher, I think he underestimated just how bad things were in Philly. And he should have probably gone into the rebuild sooner than, than he did. The team's dictating they're in a rebuild. I, I think he should have figured that out or sooner. Auntie Colleen suggests a mukbang at Timmy's. Mukbang videos seem to be a thing now. What is that? I, what are you talking about? I've heard Mom? of them. I've heard of them. I'm thinking whatever it is, I don't want to do it. Probably not. <laughs> Surprise Montreal didn't move. A defenseman, so much youth on the blue line. Next year will be a battle for top six spots. Edmondson's name's been out there. They've mentioned Edmondson on here, but nothing's <laughs> happened with him yet. Um, it's still possible. We we often see trades happen after noon. So even though noon is the deadline, we will often hear of trades always. leaking out There's after always. noon. Honest thoughts on the Devils making a run? Uh, I really like the Devils. I like their energy. The one thing with the Devils, <clears throat> um, I'm not sure that they have a playoff ready goaltender right now. And so that's something that gives me pause. And it's a young team. Very often, young teams make the playoffs, and they they might flame out that first time out. Uh, it is not not something that's outside the realm of possibility, and so I wouldn't be surprised if New Jersey has you know really good run this regular season, and then the playoff success arrives in twenty fourteen. 
Not sure if it was asked, but where do you see JVR? Uh, for JVR, there aren't very many suitors. Apparently, they just want a third round pick back. Uh, a lot of teams have already made those moves, but it, you have to look for somebody who's got space. Um, I, I don't even think Seattle has the cap space to bring in JVR, even with a 50% retention. I mean, if Buffalo felt like they were in it, maybe Buffalo would be in on that. Ottawa's already made the moves they, they're going to make. I, I mean, Philadelphia has to get something back for them, right? Uh, is there a trade the Sabres can make that will make a difference that's not a 99 Hasek 06 Miller type goalie? Why are my Sabres torturing me? Goaltending is the one thing with Buffalo I've been curious about over the last couple of years in that it, it, it does feel like there's placeholders mm -hmm. until Lukanen is ready. And Lukanen, there's been mixed results this year. I think that Buffalo's, Buffalo's close, though. And maybe this summer they find that goaltender that's going to make them a playoff team. Um, what trade or trades affected your power rankings the most? Trades don't affect Goodness. my power rankings. I, I don't, oh, I don't, man. I don't even injuries don't affect the power rankings. It's just the results on the ice. I have no concern for who is or isn't playing and who gets traded where. Um, but I think that after the trade deadline, I, I think that, I mean, if Carolina doesn't make a move and if their offense continues to stagnate, they're going to drop. <coughs> okay. When, when we get this far behind in the chats, then the chat gets really not go. happy with me. One. I know, but I'm look at how far back I am. I know. If PD Hughes won't stay for a rebuild, aren't trades like Ronick a good move to keep them? If you're going to rebuild, then should PD be traded? No. The, see, the thing is this. I think the Canucks are in a bit of a retool. If they want to pick up a, a defenseman, fine. They could have done that this summer. Trading out a draft pick that could end up netting Detroit a top 10 pick that could end up netting Detroit. I mean, if, if the Islanders fall out and if the Islanders end up in a situation where that draft pick becomes better and then <clears throat> it switches into next year, it's not protected next year. So things, it could be even better for Detroit. Um, I just, I didn't like trading that pick. If it was say Boston's draft pick, no big deal. Boston's draft mm -hmm. picks could be late. The Islanders, there's no guarantee it's going to be a late pick. There's no guarantee it won't roll over next year to where it's not draft protected. I, I just, I don't understand making that move right now. I think they could have added a defenseman this summer. The, the games don't matter between now and the end of the season. I don't understand the move right now. First off, love the Canes jersey. With that, do you think the Canes make a move at, oh, at forward in the next hour? Uh, you know, I wore Canes because I figured, you know, they've been pretty quiet. I do expect them to do something, but we haven't seen much from them yet. Really, in terms of the big trades, uh, it does feel like we're, we're past that, that the big trades probably have already been made. When Devin Levi go Huskies eventually graduates, how quickly do you think he'll be back stopping the Stavers? I know Ottinger made the jump quickly and he's been nothing short of excellent for Dallas. Um, Ottinger made the jump quickly, but he also got sent down to the AHL for first spell last year. Uh, Levi, I think it'll probably be, I would say two seasons after he, he gets that contract and he's in Rochester. I would say two years in Rochester getting games in. And then you bring him up. And then you'd have Luke and, and Levi. And that, that'd be a pretty good tandem if they both develop properly. Do you think the Canes get G JT Miller? They have $30 million in cap space offseason. And they still have first round draft pick to give up. Uh, if, if they're willing to take on that whole contract, I think the Canucks would absolutely listen. Uh, even for a late first rounder, I think they would listen on that as well. I'll, I'll be sad if Miller goes because I like Miller. I know people don't like a lot of things about him, but I, I do like Miller. I'd be kind of sad if he left. Buffalo needs to care less about his current goaltender's feelings and get solid veteran to pair with Anderson. Send UPL back to the minors. Uh, it's possible that, I mean, Mrazek played in Carolina before. He's been playing well for Chicago. If they looked at Mrazek and if they found a way to bring him in, that, that could help. But I, I don't know that that they <clears throat> they are wanting to do that right now. Mukbang is stream where you eat a lot of food. Eating an absurd, typically grotesque amount of food on stream. Yeah, no, not gonna happen. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. What do you think of Chicago's moves as a whole? That's that's icky. Pass. Chicago's done. <clears throat> I mean, the the okay. So the Kane trade, people were upset about, but Kane 
really made it so it was difficult for them to get much back because Kane said, I'm only going to the Rangers. So that meant whatever the Rangers offered, Chicago had to take because it was either that or you lose them for nothing. So they really were up against it. They didn't get enough for Kane, but that was all the Rangers were offering. They asked for they asked for more and they were offered less and they had to take it. I think they've done as well as they can, especially given Taves' situation. Taves isn't going to play. He's not getting traded. So it's just been a rough time for Chicago. Can you say anything positive about St. Louis this year? Uh, their reverse <clears throat> retro jersey wasn't as ugly in person as I thought it would be. Um, Bennington's still a good goaltender. I think that <laughs> I think Baruby's okay. a really good coach. <laughs> And I think I think they can bounce back and get back to the playoffs next year. <laughs> Would you trade Elias Patterson forward, not defenseman, for a top five pick and a prospect? Would a team like Columbus accept it? You, the, Patterson has a chance to be an absolute superstar in this league for a long time. Uh, the Canucks can't afford to trade him. You you God, can't. I, I don't like the idea of the complete and total teardowns because that means it's going to take a lot longer to build up. So no, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make that deal. We are way, 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 way behind. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, there, there we is. go. You got that one. I can look at how high that ups. Yeah. You're oh good. my goodness. You're okay. Good. Thoughts on it. Penguins move so far. Many fans are unhappy with Hextall making the team older and arguably not that much better for what they lost. Uh, they needed to mix up the bottom six. He's mixed up the bottom six. We'll see how it works come playoff time. Uh, Benino is, as a for instance, they know Benino. They know what they're getting with Benino. He's played with these guys before. So, yeah. Okay. What teams... Team or two has the best youth roster movement. Uh, Buffalo's got a really good young team. New Jersey's got a fantastic young team as well. You think Taves will hang up the skates this summer? Uh, between long COVID, Hawks dynasty over, and the fact that he's accomplished all there is in hockey. Yeah, I don't think Taves is going to have a choice. I think he's going to have to <clears throat> have to retire. Do you think the Rangers have good enough defensive depth for the playoffs? They made a big splash offensively, but the depth in defense concerns me i mean they could add you know a little bit of depth but I, I i like their blue line i i do uh i i think they've got a solid blue line there i think they'll be okay do you watch any college hockey a there isn't college hockey up here <clears throat> b i'm watching enough <clears throat> uh of the nhl hockey i just the extra time i have i'm there either isn't. making videos there or i'm researching time. stuff and so that's not extra, when the that, college games are not, on. They're also on during the NHL time. game. So that's not going to work. It's not extra time if you're still working. <laughs> I think Sunquist gets traded. <clears throat> I saw something about Sunquist today, but I, I haven't heard anything more about it. So it's possible. Fellow Stars fan here. I haven't felt great about our defense all year, yet I keep hearing praise about it all over. What am I missing? Thanks for all you do. You're the best. The problem I have with Dallas right. is when Dallas is in a close game, <clears throat> they seem to find a way to lose it. Uh, that that makes me really nervous with Dallas. Their defense is <clears throat> sometimes overrated a bit, uh, but I, I like Lindell, Haskinen. Uh, Suter's not had a fantastic year, but I think he's still useful for them. Uh, Dallas is really, I think they're more middle of the pack, even though they're leading the division. I think they're more of a middle of the pack team and it'll be interesting to see what they do in the postseason. In your opinion, what projected playoff teams in the East have the best bottom six? Uh, New Jersey's is excellent. I like what the Rangers did to improve theirs as well. Uh, I mean, and, and, and Boston is just ridiculous from top to bottom abs and every move that, that Sweeney makes seems to work. Uh, the the move with Washington being the most recent, and yet there's still Bruins fans like we need to fire Sweeney. Yeah, okay, they got 101 points in 61 games. By all means, fire the guy. Uh, but yeah, um, bottom six. I should like Florida's, but they they just don't close out games very well. I I would say overall, I I'd, I'd probably give New Jersey the best depth up front. Do you think Rangers have good enough defensive depth? You asked me. Oh, that. I did. Yep. Okay. Yeah. What can Golden Knights do to fix the horror show that is their current power play? I don't know that they have a, a power play sniper. 
I, I think they need somebody who's going to park himself in front of the net, make life difficult for the other team's goaltender, and tip pucks in. Uh, the Patrick Hornquist uh, style, the Thomas Holmstrom style of playing the game. Uh, that's that's what I think they need. I, I don't know that they're going to pick that up today, but that's definitely something they need on that power play. Okay. What do you think oh they need gosh. on the power play? I'm, I'm not even listening to what I'm reading. I'm just trying to get kind of caught up. Any more moves from the abs today? Yeah. Maybe if they can pick up, like I said earlier, if they can pick up depth down the middle, I think they'd love to do that. Uh, Eller was was definitely a helpful piece to pick up, but I think they need a little more depth down the middle. Um, I'm a Minnesota Wild fan, and I stumbled on your channel about a month ago. I look forward to all your videos. You do a great job. Go Wild. Thank you. I'm very humbled by all of that. I still <clears throat> find the whole thing odd, but hey. It is. It's all weird. Yeah. It's really weird. It is odd. It's weird being recognized and all of that. It's all bizarre. Yep. Thoughts on Logan Stanley requesting a trade, even with the Jets in playoff spot? I don't think he's worried about them being in a playoff spot when he's not getting to play. I think Logan Stanley wants to play. He believes he's a good defenseman. <clears throat> Logan Stanley, a couple of years ago, I was more bullish on than I am now, but he can still play. And I think there'll be some interest. Um, and he's old enough that I don't think Winnipeg would be worried about him really blossoming somewhere else and turning into a really great defenseman. I think old man Lou is done. Could use an LHD. If if Lou makes a deal, it'll come out after 12 o'clock because he likes to wait until the last minute. Uh, by far one of the best hockey channels on YouTube. Thank you Thank for you. all you do. I, I, I would consider my channel to be in the top 1,500 hockey channels on YouTube. I won't <laughs> I won't go higher than that. I'd say top 1,500. I don't know. This, this 16, hockey channel has kind of a really cute host. He's kind of a good-looking guy, right? The cats? Because the cats definitely are cute. <laughs> so that helps. <clears throat> what should the Flames do in terms of the future? The Flames are in an interesting spot. They they picked up some guys in the offseason, and clearly there was a belief that they could. For whatever reason, Calgary can't have two good years in a row. And I, I find it so weird that they just can't. Uh, they can't overreact to this year being a down year. Uh, they can't overreact to Huberto putting up iffy numbers because Huberto can bounce back next season. But there's just something off. They got off to a really, really good start, and there's just been something off ever since. I think the easy answer would be Daryl Sutter ending up out. I think that's possible. Um, it's possible Brad Tree Living's job is on the line as well. But I don't think Calgary's that bad. I think Calgary's still a team that could make the playoffs. A, they're not out of it for this year. And B, I, I, I like their outlook going forward. Just a really rough year for their goaltending and defense. Um, I would not be sitting here at 3 a.m. if you were not credible. <laughs> well, I and I, I try my best that if I'm going to report something on the channel, that it's coming from a guy like Friedman, Fried, Friedman, uh, Fried, um, Dr Drager, uh, Johnston, uh, Saravelli, somebody who we know has information. There are times where I might get information passed on to me. I don't always share that on the channel because there's times where I feel like, okay, I could talk about this. Usually I'll wait six months to a year. I might even wait a couple of years and say, well, I heard this because then it's not going to be considered controversial. And then if I have a source, <clears throat> they're not going to be mad at me and go, I told you that in confidence when it was two years ago. So I don't think they're, they're going to be all that concerned, but I try to make sure what I report in every video is as accurate as possible. I know there's always a mistake on almost every board, but <clears throat> I try my best. Do you two play hockey yourselves? Love the channel. Um, I do street hockey and floor hockey, um, ice hockey, other than, you know, game with my church way, way, way back in the day. And that wasn't even with equipment or anything. <laughs> Not, not really. And my, my family didn't have the money to buy me all the equipment, put me in the, like I can skate. Skating's not a problem, but in terms really of like having skating. the money, I, I do too. I could go skating more. I, I do really too. Like skating. We could, we could just put like a rink in this room. That'd be great. It's cold enough. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. We could get a pretty I couldn't, good rink I couldn't going play in hockey when I was younger because I had broken legs. And it would be entertaining to see the cats on an ice, ice floor. I we could take videos of the cats of time on the in a ice wheelchair. And... So, so yeah, I we just my my family the, the finances weren't there because I, I asked my mother a few times it was we just don't have the money. 
think old man Lou is done. Oh, I already read that one. Oh my goodness. You did really well. Good job, sweetie. Did LA trade Lemieux for cap space or for another move? I, I would think that's part of it. It might be too that, that Philadelphia was interested in acquiring Lemieux. I think it's interesting that Lemieux and uh, D'Angelo were both on the same team again. So, I mean, uh, McEwen is is a solid fourth liner. He can give you decent minutes. I, I guess Lemieux fell out of favor with them. Uh, this isn't just the top hockey channel on YouTube. It's the best hockey channel there is. No politics, no BS, just hockey. Thank you, THG. Go abs. Yeah, no, no politics. Um, we get enough of that everywhere else. Right. Hello from Wilmington, North Carolina. Yep. What will the Leafs do with nine defensemen? Which one is most likely to be moved? TSN speculates Gustafson. Thoughts? Gustafson's value is higher right now than it's ever going to be. It's interesting to me with Gustafson that he's got off to this really, really ridiculous. Well, he's been on a ridiculous run lately. But if you look at Gustafson's career, it's not going to keep up. So it's possible they flip him again. But you can't have too many defensemen come playoff time. How many times have we seen there's three, four, five defensemen get hurt? I think he's loading up the Leafs in case there's a long playoff run. He, they have plenty of players now, lots of defensemen. I, I, I think it's I think it's a good bet. If they keep everybody, I think that's a good bet. Are the Capitals able to retool the lineup to be competitive again, or do they need a full rebuild? Does Blaine... Uh, Forsyth. Need to be fired. I I did a video on it not too long ago. Uh, I've done a couple videos on the Caps this year. I, I don't know if they need a full rebuild, and if they do, that's going to be tough to sell Ovechkin on. It's going to be tough to sell with guys like Wilson and Backstrom in the lineup too. Um, I don't, it, it really is going to depend about what kind of cap space they have this summer and what they do with it. I think that'll tell us where they're headed. Uh, if they think they're close, they'll be active on the, on the market. But uh, yeah, it's uh, Washington's going to be an interesting one to watch. I think they need to do some kind of a retool. Uh, how much do you know about the EIHL being a fan from the UK? I appreciate all the hard work you do so i can understand this great game i know that i've i've got books that have eihl stuff in it i know there's been some good players who've gone over and played there as well uh and so yeah it's something that in the off season i want to talk about some of the other leagues some of the european stuff uh, go through some of the european jerseys i have as well um but i i know there are good players i know it's good hockey don't mind me just poking Iserman with a stick, begging him to do something. I mean, he, he traded Vrana this morning. I was I was mm. surprised that he got a return on Vrana, considering the cap, the cap hit that his contract has and the season he's had being pretty miserable. So I think I think Iserman did well there. I think Iserman's going to be interesting to watch this coming summer because he's going to have a lot of cap space. Do you think the narrative of Boston being bad after this year is overused? Their core is still good enough to compete. For at least the playoffs, um, the 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 reality with Boston is that Bergeron's probably <clears throat> in his last year. I think Krejci's probably in his last year as well. The Boston Bruins, as they're made up, they're really really a strong team. But I do wonder about how they're going to react once Bergeron's time is done and once Krejci's time is done. And if they win the cup this year, I would almost guarantee that both of those players go, and <clears throat> then you have to replace them. The cap's going to be an issue as well. And then Allmark's having a career year. Can he replicate that? So there are a lot of reasons to look at Boston and say, this is their year. Next year, I do expect some kind of a fallback. Eastern wildcard is insane this year. Hope it's like this next year too. Most teams at least have a chance. Yeah, it's nice to, it's nice to see that it's not decided at the deadline who's going to make the playoffs in the East. That was kind of boring last year. Uh, Washington shouldn't be held hostage by Opie's goal chase. Oh, what I've noticed in Washington games over the last, and it's this is going on like two years, the players on the ice with Ovechkin are always trying to help him get another goal. Um, but I, I, I do think that this this goal chase is important. I totally understand why the players and, and management are, are sold on it. And it's going to be absolutely magical when he, he does pass Gretzky, and he should over the next couple of years. Uh, but it, I, I don't know that that he's going to have the patience for a rebuild if they go in that direction because he's, what, 37? Hi, from Pittsburgh. Do you think Hextall is done after the acquisition of Bonino? 
Grunland and Kulikov. Does the Vancouver rumor have any merit? Depends who you ask. So there's a rumor out there that they were in on Miller, but the Canucks backed out because of whatever <clears throat> reason. And then Elliot Friedman came out and said his sources told him that's not happened. This time of year, you're going to have competing and, and differing views. I, I really think that for Pittsburgh, they are definitely trying too hard to pry that window open, that Stanley mm. Cup window, when it probably should be closed and they should be in a similar position mm. to, to the Capitals. But they're above the line. Clearly, Hextall feels like they're, they're, they're close. So we'll see what happens. I like his tie. It's fun. Uh, give us a spicy prediction for the Flames coming off season. Oh, spicy prediction. <clears throat> I'd love yes. to see Tanev go back to the Canucks. If we could figure out a way to get Tanev back in Vancouver, I'd be quite happy. Uh, that being said, if if they finish outside the playoffs, we could see a shakeup in the top six. We could see Lindholm gone. I, I think Lindholm could end up being on his way out. Are the Pens really better from the trades? I think that it's a matter of Hextall rolling the dice that they're going to have better chemistry with their bottom six. I uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm on the fence on that one. Big fan of your channel. Love the bolts. What defensemen do you think they get and do you think they trade away Killorn and to get Klingberg? <clears throat> <clears throat> Kalorn's been Kalorn's name's been out there for years in terms of possible trade for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh Klingberg, he's played better lately than he did early in the season, but his price tag is going to make it tough. Uh Klingberg could absolutely help Tampa. I think that the pickups that Tampa's made so far show they want more sandpaper. Adding Klingberg <clears throat> would give him a little bit more offense from the blue line. I, I don't know that 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 Kalorn would necessarily be the piece going the other way. Thoughts on Sabres future? I, I like the Sabres. I've been saying it all season, even when they were well below the playoffs, even when they were losing all the time. I, I like I like the Sabres. I think they've got a good young team. And I, I think they're they're gonna be fun to watch for years to come if they can keep that core together. Please come down to Seattle, both of you, and have a meetup. I work for the Kraken and will finagle climate. Pledge Arena tour for you. We we do want to go down to to Seattle. We do point. really want to get down there and be able to see a game there. Yeah. It's just so tricky. There's yeah. so many games on most nights. We'll see how we'll see how the schedule is uh, <clears throat> next season, and if there's some kind of sweet spot where it would make the most sense. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. Uh, Flyers traded Critty for large pizza and a pack of Newports. Well, Gritty's awesome. Gritty's the best, the best of the mascots. I, really I do really like Gritty. Yeah. Uh, which cat demanded a trade when you got back from your LA trip? Which which cat was? I don't think any of them were mad at us. This well, bear. Not as much. Bear was. Bear, bear, was but bear hit. Yeah, I had to pull her out. Yeah, bear was. I knew happy. where she was too. She likes to hide in in my clothes. She wouldn't come out when I called her. She wouldn't come out at all. So. She was but I know where she hides, and so I just bring her out. And as soon as I bring her out, then she's good. But yeah. Uh, do you see the abs making another move before the end, or will they wait to make moves after this season? We're up to 45 minutes left till the trade deadline. I mean, the abs haven't haven't got anything done yet today. I guess they're standing pat. It's okay to take off THG, don't burn out. He doesn't do day off. I don't know if you guys have noticed this yet. Over all these years, Shanna doesn't do a day off. Nope. I think he might go crazy if he did a day off. He would the whole time be thinking about, oh, he's losing views and people are going to go somewhere else. And he would. He doesn't do well, a day I'll off. Well, I'll still pre-record videos before <clears throat> our, our August vacation. Yes. Yeah. Which has been so nice the past two trips you do in the, the videos beforehand. Yeah. It's great. And I see Shannon more, yeah. which is my Def favorite. Definitely got to see more Disney this time than the first time. My favorite. So we'll Shannon. see Disney this summer and <clears throat> yes. that'll be fun. With no kids. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just you, two of us. Do you think with Tampa, they will have the same success or similar success with Colton, Paul, and Jeno third line? I, you know, Nick Paul's been <clears throat> fantastic since getting there. Janot can be an excellent forward. I think that there's a lot of risk to that trade. But, I mean, if they win the Cup this year, it's absolutely worth it. 
hundred percent worth it. And I really like that third line. Well, somebody ever asked if you ever get together with Steve Dangle. He's on the other side of the country, which is really, really so. far away. If you don't know how big Canada is, it's really big. I know some people don't understand how big it is because we've had people ask if we can meet them for coffee in Quebec. Not really, not really days. Possible. That's days yeah, away. That's that's a lot. We could drive all day and not be out of the province. So yeah. it's a big country. That's really far. No. Uh, should have specified. Come down in the off season. Me leaving that part out cost me five dollars. <laughs> that actually we could do. Oh yeah. We could absolutely figure out a time during the off season that we can come down. July. Um it is so much easier for us to do once, anything so when once, it's not uh, off season. Once the draft we and can, free agency We can pass. absolutely do that. Draft and free agency tend to be kind of crazy <clears throat> and then I kind of need a little bit of a not a break, breaks the wrong way of putting it, but just a little bit of an easier couple of he days needs after a break. that. And so Breaks the right word. Um <laughs> Yeah, um, I I would think somewhere around probably middle of July we could figure something out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Verana, thoughts? Did Caps see it early? Dodge one? I, I don't know if the Caps knew something was up with Verana or not. I know that uh, the debate about who won that trade is kind of over. They kind of both lost it because Mantha hasn't been lights out with the Capitals either. I think it was a matter of two general managers saying, okay, we want to move this player kind of in problems. And so they moved for each other. And so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go for Vrana and St. Louis. I hope he gets this game back. Yep. Lars is correct. I will not read trades that people are posting on here because I cannot verify right. comments on here and people right. have always oh, Greenway. liked to post fake trades right. on here. So I so just don't read them. It makes Greenway's, it a lot Greenway's easier. gone to the wild. I like that <clears> one. <throat> um, I think that that's a good pick. Jordan Greenway needed to get out of Minnesota. He was not <clears> finishing <throat> and there was a lot of criticism all over and I get the criticism, but a move to Buffalo makes a lot of sense. Um, he could, he'll give them a little bit of sandpaper. They don't need the offense from Greenway either, so he won't have the same pressure he had in Minnesota. We'll see what's going the other way. Steve Dangle is nice, really, really nice guy, good guy. Oh, very absolutely. different videos. Yeah. Um, but he does a very good job at what there he have been there have been a couple of times where something's Nothing gone on with the channel. Him. Something's gone on with the channel, and he's reached out yep. to me. Um, when the copyright thing hit three years ago, he reached out to me immediately. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was, and it was really quick that he, he messaged us. He gave me some advice right away and mm -hmm. he said, all right, you got to make sure this and this and this. And yeah, he's, he's never been anything but a nice guy. Um, I, I haven't been invited onto their, their, their podcasts this year. I, I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I'm not in favor zone. of the gambling part and the time, but the zone time zone really might be difficult. part of it too. Because yeah. they normally do them at like six o'clock our time, yeah. which is really early considering how late Shannon has to be up for yeah. watching the game. So the time really makes things difficult. But yeah, all three hosts on Steve Dangle <clears throat> Podcast Network. I like all three guys. They're all good guys. I have nothing bad to say about them. I know that the, the content Steve puts out there is completely different than mine, but I respect what he does and I know he respects what I do as well. New Jersey Devil is better than Matt. Philly's meth Muppet, whatever. Wrong. I mean, it's <laughs> gritty's great. The, <laughs> I like gritty. The mascot conversation. I did a ranking of mascots at one point. I know fans got really upset. They do. People, people but, get like personally insulted. Because there are gritty's some that awesome, I think are though. just like a lot of mascots, I think are kind of <clears throat> generic. And I, I yeah. get it. Um, gritty's I think gritty kind of changed the game. He's fun. Because oh, it was yeah, like, oh, is. you can create something that looks like a monster and it's crazy it's and people funny. will love it. Yes. So yeah. Um, I think that non hockey people know who gritty is. Yes. And that's, that's, that's where that's the good. bar gets raised. So when I'm watching a Florida game and I see Stanley C Panther, I'm like, well, I guess it's a mascot, but yeah. And then people get mad at me for us. Oh, you don't understand the important I, I don't, it's just, I'm just ranking mascots. I'm not trying to upset anybody. Who could you see as a replacement for Burge and Craig? <laughs> That's weird to say it like that. You know, I don't think you can replace Bergeron. There's no one who can replace Bergeron. 
Krejci, I think you could go out and find somebody on the market to come in as a second line center. This is where Boston trading away so many players. It comes back to bite them. And by, by which I mean draft picks and, and prospects because they don't really have somebody coming up like John Beecher's in their system. I, I guess he could end up playing with them soon, but he's not going to be Bergeron. He's not going to be Krejci. Uh They, they may very well need to, to either look trade market or more than likely free agency. The problem being uh, with the amount of money they're paying the guys that are there now, that might be really difficult. This is one of the reasons why they're all in this year. How much damage could there be in markets where ATT is that AT and T Sportsnet yep. shuts down in a few weeks, like Vegas? Does the league take over broadcasts? Uh, the league's supposed to be taking over the broadcasts in the event that that happens. Apparently, Seattle is uh, the Root Network. The Mariners have ownership in that, and they've already assured people nothing will change with Root Network. So Seattle's not going to be in any mm. kind of trouble. Uh, but regional sports networks are going under. This is just the reality. The NHL is going to have to pivot and they're going to have to make it work. Uh, what do you think about Kopitar? His recent performances by field playing alongside him a lot of the time now has really brought out the best of him. Byfield's played really well over the last few months. Uh, Kopitar definitely shepherding him along. He's done a very good job of that. I, I like what, uh, what Byfield's done. I, I think Byfield, two, three years from now, I think he's going to be seen as one of the, the better two-way forwards in the game. I think the two-way forward part is, is really important. Can Habs' future keep up with their rising East teams? I, I think for Montreal, I think it's going to be a bit of a longer wait for them to be a, a, a playoff team and to be you know really well-structured, but they're, they're still going to be a lot of fun to watch. They're, they're exciting, they're young, and yeah, they're going to be fun. I uh, love everything you do, THG, assuming, no, no, sorry. I uh, love everything you do, THG, assuming Rangers versus Devil in round one. What do you think each team's path to win that series? Hoping Rangers pull it out, but I'm nervous. Uh, for the Rangers, they have the experience. So I have to lean on the experience, and they need Shesterkin to be that 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 thief that he was last year in the playoffs. I do think that they have an edge in goal. I think they have an edge when it comes to the experience side of things. For the Devils, they just need to have that youthful, we don't know we're supposed to lose kind of energy they've had all season during the regular season and just play loose. They, If they start to tighten up and change up their game and start doubting themselves, the Rangers could very well take them out. We haven't been to the Hockey Hall of Fame because we haven't been to Toronto. Right. The West is so wide open this year. Why are no GMs in the West going all in? Well, I, I think the Avs would hmm. like to. I, I think for the Avs, though, I think it's a matter of you've got to consider cap space. You've got to consider what's out there. Um, trying to think like with the with teams in the West, Dallas can't really go all in because I think Dallas has some issues on their team. Um yeah, they're, I, I don't know that there's, like the teams in the East, you can make an argument for five or six of them being real legitimate Stanley Cup contenders. I don't know that you can make the same argument in the West. I think Vegas, uh, Dallas on some level, sure. Uh, outside of that, it gets it gets tough. Um, I, I mean, obviously Colorado defending Stanley Cup champions and all that. There's rabbits running around our feet right now. <laughs> Joe Smith reporting Greenway to Sabres. Thoughts? Yep. Uh, Greenway, Greenway could be a very good pickup. Energy forward. Uh, I think the disappointment in Minnesota was with the fact that the offense never really got where it was expected to. But I, I like Greenway as an addition for the Sabres. I think that could be a really solid pickup for them. Yep. You can watch both THG and Dangle. It's that simple. Absolutely. Yeah. They are both very See, and, different. And early Shannon on. Shannon and Steve do very different videos. Early on when the channel, when my channel was starting up and, and before Steve was on Sportsnet or anything, there was always people who were like fighting between the two channels about what was better. And both Steve and myself put a, put a stop to that because we didn't see the point in there being fighting between the two channels. Not a competition. I reached out to Steve and said, look, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I don't have any problems. Thanks, um, there were a couple other channels too that were involved at the time. And yeah, I just, I, I, I put my content out there and people can watch whatever they'd like. Do the Sens make another move? No. Uh, Pierre Dorian, before this day started, said that unless something presented itself, he was considering that he was basically done. That going out and getting Chikrin was that move that needed to be made. 
uh, when he got Chicker and he figured that that was, that was it. And he was set. Uh, and he let the Sens know that I believe in this team. I'm adding Chicker in because apparently Giroux went to him and said, I, I want another defenseman. And so he did that. So uh, I think he's built up goodwill with the players and he'll leave it. Thoughts on the deadline as a whole so far? This year feels way more chaotic than past years, especially all the teams brokering. It's more chaotic, but it's all also condensed. So uh, last year, last year we had, um, you know, revenues on the channel and views were down. I think as ten or fifteen percent. Uh, so the revenues went down, but I think that was because there wasn't really anything Hi. going on. Hey, hello. I think that was because there weren't trades being made and all that. The stuff that. The stuff that uh, generates a lot of interest on the channel, the trades, signings, things of that nature. And it's been a quiet year. Uh, this trade deadline has definitely picked things up a lot. But yeah, a lot of them, it's rentals. It's one player. But because there's so many of them going on before the deadline day, it makes it feel really, really crazy. Ain't Rabbit bad, bad. from my face down. Ever yeah. talk to bar down TSN guys for their quiz? Nope. No. Never have. Love everything you do, THG. Assuming Rangers. Oh, I already read that one. You did. That's right. Because I was. Oh, see, it keeps skipping. You're fine. It is skipping like crazy. Thoughts on Pittsburgh? Uh, they've gotten older. Uh, clearly, Hextall's of the belief that this team is is contending. Uh, he's making the moves that I I think the veterans on the team would probably agree with. And so we'll find out when the playoffs roll around if they are contenders. <laughs> grumpy old pens they definitely got older yeah okay okay there's that one. that one yeah you're good i think you did think really I well today where we are you did okay. really well today you just shut it what are your odds that boston wins at all and does montreal move anderson see the funny thing is no matter how many games boston wins there's a voice in the back of my head that says yeah but can they beat tampa bay in the second round so <clears> if it's tampa bay and boston in the second round can they win and and if it's Toronto in the second round, does Toronto, if they beat Tampa Bay in the first round, get this newfound confidence and energy? And would there be more pressure than on Boston? Does everything switch? Could Boston lose game one against Toronto? There's a lot of things that's still in the back of my mind I, I find concerning. And then could they beat Carolina in a conference final? Could they beat New Jersey? And I, I think it's a lot closer than people – give it credit for because Boston's had this ridiculous regular season. I don't think they're head and shoulders above everybody else. I think they work really hard. They've got a great regular season record. Best of seven series can be quite different. Networks going under shouldn't be a surprise. Streaming is the future. NHL needs to stop blackouts. It only pushes people towards illegal streams. Yes. Especially since a lot yes. of people don't get cable anymore. They right. get the streaming services instead. Before Shannon, I hadn't had cable ever since i moved out of my parents house yeah i never had cable because it wasn't worth the amount of which money. teams do i think finish first in each division i answered this earlier <laughs> but i can do it again i think vegas ends up winning the central i like colorado to win or vegas wins pacific colorado to win the central i i, I still think carolina <laughs> ends up holding on to the metro and obviously boston ends up winning the atlantic rumor sunquest to the wild <laughs> thoughts on pittsburgh did i read that one already yep. okay so sometimes it skips around, and so I'll read whatever one I find. But somebody asked the bunny's name. The brown one that I was holding was Cinnabon. Cinnabon. We do have five others. I see Licorice is over there. And then upstairs we have Jet, Dandelion, Pickle, and Waffles. And then our rabbits are, we have Azrael right here, Bear, Maple, I don't know where Shadow went. And Pixel's not in here. There's the Pixel fish. usually follows me around all day, so you my don't bad, really bad. see her. And Cinnabon's still at my feet. So she... this is this is the rabbit that a year ago you would see in videos. He'd climb up the cat mm -hmm. tree. Hi. Um, he doesn't climb the cat trees in here anymore. Hi. But he still loves me. Fur. Don't you? He's shedding like crazy. Well, all the rabbits are shedding like crazy all the he's, time. He's but, still my know. he's still my bunny rabbit. <clears throat> so. He comes down here every morning. He runs down the stairs all on his own. He runs in here all on his own. Uh, it is so cute when he runs down the so, stairs. So I see a few questions with the trade deadline. There's the deadline that's in a half hour. Yeah. But then we um, will get trades for quite a while. I think last year, didn't we get trades for like two hours after that? 
I we didn't do the live two, stream. It was a while. I remember there being one that took quite a while. Yeah. Um, we won't do the live stream that long, but there no. will be trades that will come in afterwards because they have to do all of their paperwork and stuff yeah. first. And then after that, <laughs> I will be doing a video where I go over the trade deadline and I'll go over who added what. I've got the mega board that I'll set up. Hopefully all my magnets arrive by then. Maybe they're outside waiting for me now. Got a bunch of new magnets coming. So since I'm such a geek, uh, I'm excited about my magnets. He does get really excited they about They released all this really cool reverse retro stuff. So my plan is um, I've ordered most of the teams. I'm going to have magnets that are these little jersey ones for every single reverse retro. And then they've got little two and a half by three and a half magnets too that I'm getting on almost every team. I just can't get Tampa. Tampa's the only one that I, I can't get. I'm not going to have. I'm going to try not to be upset. You could draw a picture of the, their jersey. The storm? Can, yeah. Oh. You draw a picture and we'll, well magnet it up. I, I can laminate it. Because, yes, we have a laminator just for making the magnets. See, because the, the jersey one the jersey one I have. So I'm looking forward to using this. But oh, right, right. A little right, two right. and a half by yeah. three and a half. See, you could draw it. So the one, the Where one this size. The shiny Bruins magnet. Which one? Which which shiny one? A lot of them he finds on eBay. Sometimes he finds them on the NHL shop. Um, or sometimes he has to go to the specific team stores yeah. for certain Florida, magnets. Florida's magnet with the little mm. two and a half by three and a half. I had to go through their team store. But almost Tampa all Bay's, of them are through the it. NHL Not shop the team store. or eBay. Um, Let's see. No, I'm not reading trades that you guys post on here. Not doing it. Nope. We've been through this before. Mm. Yep, yep. Not our first trade deadline. It's not. <laughs> okay. Too early to predict for sure. Bruins are the favorite. Bruins are the, the cup, favorite. But Bruins President's are the favorite. trophy is cursed. It is, although I think we're due for a Stanley Cup winner that's a President's mm. Trophy winner. But, yeah, the East is going to be an absolute dogfight all the way through. Thank you for all your hard work. Also, do you see the Canucks buying out Myers or OEL at any point? It's possible they try buying out Myers this summer. I know it doesn't save him money, though. One thing with Myers, July 1st, he gets a $5 million signing bonus. Then his salary is only a $1 million. So a team could take on his $6 million cap hit, but only pay him a $1 million. He's far more tradable after July 1st. They may figure out a trade for him after that. Do you think the Devils can make a deep run? Do they have what they need? The only concern I have with New Jersey, there's two. In, inexperience, which can show up in the playoffs that first time through. And then the other part is the goaltending. I don't know that they have a goaltender that gets them through four rounds. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for supporting us. Yeah, really appreciate it. Um, Drew, 14 points away from 1,000. And Sens play Philly in 14 games. Does the perfect script happen the way he's playing right now he could get to a thousand points before that game he's playing really well right now he's he's on another level off topic but next year artemis 2 space mission happens and a can oh wait canadian, a canadian yeah. is going along to orbit the moon are you excited that's awesome also will fletcher trade jvr uh the asking price for van reemstake apparently is a third round pick we'll see if that ends up happening uh, as for a, a Canadian orbiting the moon, I wish it was me. That'd be great. You know, I could bring we my whiteboard, my magnets. kind of like astronomy. We're, we're both a little bit of astronomy dorks. I, so I, as, a little like that, as a little kid, I wanted fun. to be an astronomer. I, I read all the astronomy books in school. By the time I hit grade seven, I had to get like the high school ones because I'd already read all the elementary stuff. Um, I remember mm -hmm. in, in science in grade 10, we took astronomy. And I got out of 100 on the test. I got 98. I was so mad at myself for the two I got wrong. Of course you would be. I had to go up to the front and go, what did I get wrong? What do you mean 98? Oh, my gosh. I got that. I knew that moon was. Oh, my gosh. I got that wrong. I'm so mad. Oh, somebody asked about my jersey. No, this is an Oilers jersey. And I love this jersey. And I really liked the old, the original one. Um, and this is a more recent. See, and I thought about redo doing do of it. I really yeah. like this jersey. It's reverse it's, retro. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a fun one. I am so glad that they were able to get the rights to the logo to be able to make this jersey. Again. The McFarlane logo is fun. It's very fun one. I really like it. Yeah. Um, this is weird because it's got orange in it. I know. I do way prefer the copper, but I can't be too picky, right? 
That's what you Could said you... on our first date. <laughs> Not true. Could you take a video on the entertainment guy of Jet coming down the stairs? Oh, that might be okay. I I can try and do that. Yeah, it's really cute. He comes down, runs down the stairs, and then sometimes he goes into the other rooms and takes a little detour. Before sometimes him here. and Cinnabon come down together. They do. They, they do both yesterday. run down next to each other on the stairs. Like okay, it's downstairs time. You wouldn't think rabbits run up and down stairs, but they absolutely do. Not all of them. No. Not all of our buns do. Oh, somebody asked earlier about. Um, if they use litter boxes like cats, yes. Yep. Um, all of our buns are litter box trained. I have never in this room seen a bunny accident ever. The buns are really, they're very good. You're going to eat that cardboard. We, that's right not now. a problem we have. And we haven't had trouble with them eating cords either. We're pretty good at keeping them up off the ground. And we have a couple, like the computer cord right and here. Licorice, I keep it covered. Licorice and Cinnabon they don't do really generally good. chew cords. The only time Cinnabon does is if one's in her way. Right. And, and then it's kind of moving. She chews it, it trying to move it yeah. and then breaks it because their teeth are sharp. Yes. Is Bedard the next McDavid? Love your channel. I don't think anybody wants to say it because if you say it, then it, it puts too much pressure on him. But yeah, he he is special. 114 points in, what is it, 46 games? He's pretty darn good. Uh, pretty amazing. So the Wild picked up Oscar Sundquist from the Red Wings. That's a good move. Um, so that shows the Wings are definitely selling. Uh, I like that pickup for the Wild. Sunquist is going to be interesting for the bottom six. So that's to replace Greenway. That's a nice change up right there. Is Fletcher fired by the end of the season? Uh, it's possible. I would not be surprised if he ends up out of a job. Um, I do wonder if Tortorella might be interested in moving into managing at some point. Uh, when they when they they did their little speech to the fans about you know going through what they're going through. I, I do wonder if maybe there might be a management future for Tortorella, if he might want to move in that direction. Love the channel. Much love from the Netherlands. I'd love to go to Amsterdam. Just throwing that out there. Amsterdam would be great. You wanted to be an astronomer, and now you both are stars, at least to us. Thank you both. Aww. I never did buy you a star, did I? You know that naming a star. I know. I always thought when they first came out with that, I always thought that was so cool, <laughs> so dorky, but it's cool. <laughs> Our kids called Abbotsford rabbits fart when they were young. Now I know why. LOL. I've never heard that one before. I've heard Abbotsford called all sorts of things, but that's oh, a new yes. one. Oh yes. Odds blue chip goalie moved. Vimelka or Demko. Demko's not going anywhere. I, I think if Demko gets traded, I think it's probably this summer. Um, I, I don't know how much of a how much of a desire they would have to move him. You need a goaltender. And he's fantastic. He was really good last night. Um, Vimelka, Vimelka gets mildly overrated because he does have some really, really stellar games. He also has some really mediocre ones in the middle. So I, I don't know how much market there is for him right now. I follow a channel with a guy who has a pet lobster. That would be weird. Do you have to have a big tank for a lobster? I don't think so. Like to be nice water. to your lobster. Well, I mean, if you want to be Does nice it... to your lobster, right? Well, you already like saved it. Some from being people food, with so. rabbits, they keep them in really tiny hutches, but that's not nice to the rabbit. Does a lobster need a nice big tank? Oh, Red Wings acquired Do James like... Van Riemsdyk from the Flyers. Do they like to have friends or? So, so wait. Now I have all the lobster questions. So if the wings acquired J James Van Riemsdyk from the Flyers, I I guess that's not throwing in the towel because that's an expiring contract. Unless, yeah, no that 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 means that I guess maybe that's Eiserman's way of saying I'm not completely hmm. throwing in the the towel yet. It's an interesting one. I'll be interested to see the return on that. What's your honest opinion of the Wilds' chances this year? Oh, sorry. Um, um, hold on. Understandable mm -hmm. that they will be struggling for the next two years. Fleury's playing better lately. If Mark Andre Fleury can recapture some of his glory from five years ago, they have a chance. Um, if they end up against Dallas in the first round, I might take them ahead of Dallas. If they end up against Colorado, I can't see them beating Colorado. If they end up against the Jets, I think the Wild would beat the Jets in a playoff series right now. That would be fun. Oh, that would be a great series. But I, I think the Wild really would win fun. that. I don't think the Jets oh, no. could beat them with the way they've been uh, playing lately. 
So I like the Wilds' chances of getting. Doesn't out of the matter. First round. It'd be a great series. I would enjoy watching those games, and yeah, I'd be we'll really irritated goes. because a lot of the games would, of course, be on nights that the kids have stuff to do or something. Because that's yeah. what happens whenever it's game I want to watch. It's a night that I have to taxi children around. Yep. That's that's how my life is. <laughs> A bit late, but I made it. Hello from Anaheim. I ran into you guys at Disney. It was great seeing you in person. Has the Sharks sold anything yet? Hello again. Sharks have been <laughs> mostly quiet. I mean, they traded off Nemesnikov. I haven't seen anybody else go. Um, they just reported, too, that... Uh, and now, of course, Carlson hasn't been asked to wave his no trade. He's not going anywhere. And there's no, no chance, apparently, either of Pareko getting moved. His name was out there a lot today. Now, I know he's not a shark or anything. Uh, sharks have been pretty quiet, and, and that doesn't really surprise me. What does the future hold for Patrick Kane back to Chicago? The way he left Chicago, I'm not sure if he ends up going back. Uh, we'll we'll see. In the offseason, he's probably going to have his choice of suitors. Uh, he may very well stay with the Rangers. It's going to depend on how things go with the Rangers while he's there. If they have a really good run with him, then, then they might be all right. There's your pair of boots for you. Are those blue? I don't think so. I think Caroline's are uh, gray, I think. I couldn't I wear think. like colored boots. Well, I have my mucklucks that are white, but those are fabulous. See? Oh, yeah. I think they're gray. I don't She's think got they're... the heels, though. Yeah, I was like, tall I don't, I don't know that they make those in my size. They don't generally make really high heels in, in my size of shoe. Caroline really went for that lime green today. Uh, do gambling website sponsorships helps help players sign for less? Twitch streamers can get eight-figure deals. Kane stays on Rangers if he gets the bag elsewhere. Um, I, I don't think that, that that factors into it at all. Um, I think they're really for, for income. I think it's just yeah, I don't. I don't think gambling sponsorships add up as as part of it. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if that changes over the coming years because clearly the gambling money is big. Keep in mind, the gambling money is not big because you go on their sites and win money. <laughs> that's that's true. why. That's why all this advertising has to be kind of a red flag at the same time. They're not telling you, "Hey, come on over. We'll give you a bunch of money." They're selling you in the commercial on the idea of that. But if they were giving you that much money, they wouldn't be able to afford this much advertising dollars. That's true. Uh, no, we don't have a dog because we have cats and rabbits and children. One and of which of, one of our kiddos is a uh, special needs, our 18 year old. And okay. he would not do well with a dog. That, again? that wouldn't be good. So, again? no, we do not have a dog. We both love dogs. We both have had dogs growing up. But um, we can't have a dog in this house, I'm not with you? all of our animals and I'll said child. You. Licorice is chasing her, so I'll <clears> protect her. With New Jersey Devil Trades, both with term and what they have now and coming up, how far can the Devils go this year? And are they a uh, number one team for future? Oh, yeah, they're set for a long time. Uh, for instance, Lazar, they picked up today. Uh, one million dollar cap hit for two more years. So you okay? You Why do you hate out? dogs, THG? Yeah, oh, I love Shannon. dogs. Why Anybody do that's seen me around dogs? dogs knows I love dogs. <laughs> you have cats. You must hate dogs. Every every day we that would go is, into. That... <laughs> every day we would go into Disney. They have the, the oh, helper no. dogs, and you can't pet them. And but we so talk to him. We would puppy. tell the dogs that they were doing such a good job. And such a good puppy. Good job working, keeping us all safe. I love dogs. <laughs> Most but dogs you, are you bigger than have, Shannon. That's you why. have to have. You have to have the time to give a dog proper attention and a proper. They, proper they care. are a lot more work. And so I, I've always felt like you have to be in a position where you can do that because growing up there were times where we had a dog. And it really didn't have the time and attention. And so we had to get rid of it because we had a Sheltie and she was, she was this wonderful young dog. And she, she was always out hurting other animals. And she, so we, we gave her to a farm and apparently she did great on the farm. She loved herding sheep that sounds awful. and she was so happy. It sounds terrible. What? Your dog was sent to the farm. Well, no, we it's we, normally the story that parents. No, tell. I know, I know, but yes, we, we did she's that. Very happy on we did that farm. because she just had so much energy and she was home by herself mm. all day. It wasn't fair to her. See, we lived. My mom and dad land. worked. 
and I was in school. So she'd be home alone for seven hours every day. It wait, just wasn't fair. Wait, your son is 18 already? Also, where, oh, let's see. Oh, where do you think Blues and Flyers draft first round? Yes, our oldest one in the house. We have Shannon has an older son, but the oldest one in the house is 18. So, yeah, and being that he's special needs, there's been a lot of time recently as we're trying to transition him to all of the adult special needs stuff. Which and is my, kind my of stepdaughter's pain. 26. Right. So, um, as for where I think they draft in the first round, uh, Blues will be top 10 by the time everything's done. The Flyers, they'll, yeah, they'll both be in the top 10. The dog story sounds fishy. Right. She was a wonderful young puppy. She was not some <laughs> old fart that we sent oh. away. <laughs> was it on Yvonne's potato farm in Idaho? Shannon had, you know, in every once in a while we get questions on asking if Shannon's stories about my life and childhood are true. It's, it's not. <laughs> I, I Will the coyotes that. move? Uh, the Coyotes will be moving into their new building if that vote comes down as a yes in May. If not, they'll figure something else to get that building in Tempe anyways. So if Tempe says, no, we're not going to vote for this, they're still going to get a building in Tempe. Uh, there's apparently reserve land not too far away. And then the city still ends up paying for it anyways for traffic, congestion, and everything else. So either they pay to have it there or they're going to get it either way. Uh, the Coyotes will be staying in Tempe. If Patrick Kane appears to be old and washed up during his run with the Rangers, will Ron Hextall sign him in the offseason? I can't see Pittsburgh having the kind of money in the offseason, nor the drive, especially if Pittsburgh flames out in the first round. I, I can't see them going after Kane. Uh, Kane definitely is not washed up. Uh, Kane had a nice, nice run towards his end of his time in Chicago. He's not the same player he was five years ago, but he's still a very useful player and he's still a leader. Um, oh, dogs are possibly the most wholesome animal on the planet, but they are high man maintenance. Yes, cats are low maintenance. Exactly. Yeah, dogs. You have to be. You have to take them for a walk. They have to go that, outside. All that the is time. why we have cats and not dogs, because you do have to be able to have dogs the learn how time to spell and the space for a dog. And dogs learn how to spell. They'll bring you their yeah. leash. If you're not paying attention to them, they'll just come over with the leash in their mouth. Like this takes me for a walk. Can we go? But it's raining and it's like four <laughs> degrees out there. It's not like our kids would do it. No. No, you and I would be the one yes. walking the dog. And yeah. Taking the oh, dog it's out. like when we had all the, the rabbits and like, oh my gosh, guys, you know, you're not going to be the one cleaning up. It's going to be me. Yeah. It's going to be me doing all this, but we want all of these, but it's going to be me. <laughs> ah, children. Do you find the flurry of teams moving early more interesting versus a panic flurry at the deadline? I think it leaves more room for smart moves on deadline day. I think it leaves more room for a team to react and make the right move. Um, I, I, I actually prefer this kind of a trade deadline where the moves are made during the week and then it's a little bit quiet, quieter on deadline day. Uh, and I, I think I think it's going to make for more entertaining games after the break. One thing that I love about watching games after uh, the the trade deadline is finished is all these guys on new teams and seeing how it works. It's just it's like watching a brand new game. My cats recognize the word treats. I believe it. Um, my bear used to recognize the word bed. So I said bed. She knew <laughs> That's exactly her what favorite. That meant. She loves bedtime. Yeah. Bedtime's her favorite yeah, time bedtime. of day. I'd say is it bedtime, and she'd meow and she'd get okay, all excited. Let's go. Yeah. She's very happy with bedtime. She would be happy with bedtime all day. All the time. When I was sick, she really liked that. She's quite happy. You could with be that. sick all the time. That'd be great. Oh, and when I was sick and <laughs> I was in bed all day, she just stayed with me. She's purring. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Uh, why aren't Patty, Elish, and Alex McGillney? McGillney in Hall of Fame. I've made the argument for McGillney before. I think with McGillney, it's been that he had a couple of really fantastic years, but he had really ordinary years outside of that as well. I think McGillney will get in. Uh, Elish, I'm not sure if he gets in or not. There are others like Brenda Moore that aren't in that probably get in before him. But McGillney, I think it's almost criminal that he isn't in there yet. 
thanks for saying the W-A-L-K word. Now my dog is going crazy. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> W-A-L-K. Yeah, my dog used to... O-U-T was one that my dog learned, too. She'd tilt her head, and I'd be like, I think somebody wants to go O-U-T, and she'd start wagging her tail like, oh, crap. Because if you say it, then you it's have like to take when, her. When the kids were kind of younger, they figured out what some of the spelling words for certain things. And so mm -hmm. I'd have to do roundabout saying things. So they didn't quite know what I was talking about. Hey, Shannon, Yotes fan here. Do you have sources for the reservation thing you just said? Or if it's an it is known thing, that's okay, too. So this is something I heard about a year ago that... <laughs> There is potentially a backup plan where if they don't get what they want in the city, they can have it so it's still close to Tempe, but it's reserve land. And of course, that changes the rules completely. The city doesn't have to okay that. And then they still get their building. And then all the congestion stuff comes out into Tempe. Now, I, I know I had read that in articles. I absolutely, I know I had read that in articles. I haven't heard that as much lately because I think they're really, really hoping to get this entertainment district and not have to go that route. And I think they're going to get it. The amount of signatures they had uh, for, for going forward with it, the fact that city council was 100% in favor. I know there are some that are concerned about taxes and there's a, 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 a Twitter account that kind of misre misrepresents what it's going to cost taxpayers. But because it depends on how you look at the numbers and they cook the numbers to make it look really bad for taxpayers. But I, I think they're going to get the building. I don't think the reserve thing is going to be a problem. Thoughts on the moves the Sharks have made so far? Uh, the Sharks have been relatively quiet at this stage. I think there's a Carlson trade coming this summer. I think that's going to be the big one. I think that's going to be this summer. I, I don't think there was any point in even trying to move them. You're not going to get anywhere near as much for them right now as you will this summer. Uh, do the Leafs do anything today? Do they need to? I don't think they need to. I think the, the addition of O'Reilly, I think the additions on the blue line, I think they're good. And I think it's just a matter of making sure that everybody uh, coalesces and everything works out well for them. My eye is watering way too bad. Trade deadlines are fun. But what we all want to know is who's going to upset Pure in the SPHL playoffs. Um, it won't be Vermilion County. We'll go that far. It won't be Vermilion County that ends up upsetting them. Let's see. Calgary Flames Choir Dryden Hunt. Yeah, I, I heard about that. I will be doing up a big board after we're done here uh, where I'll go through all the trades that have taken place. I used to try during this to have all the trades on the board, but then it just turned into a mess. The The details of the trade would be, you know, whatever. And it just, it yeah, became a total mess. I, sorry, my eye was watering way too much. <laughs> okay, um, let's see where we are. Did you do this one? Nope. What do you think about the Predators trades? Uh, it looks like the Preds have decided that even though they're still in the hunt, that they're they're selling to try to get back whatever they can for the veteran <clears throat> pieces. And I'm kind of surprised by that because when you look at it, they are, they're really in the hunt. And Winnipeg's had their struggles lately. If a team gets hot below that playoff line, it's possible they could bump out Winnipeg. Uh, cool. Thanks. Appreciate the... Info. info about the oats barn thanks again for having such a good wholesome channel wholesome is important yep sorry you guys don't like my sniffing i have allergies there's not a whole lot i can do about it sorry it's pretty annoying for me too <laughs> um, i don't even notice it i've been around you for so many years now. you're just used to it, it. i just it's, i just it is all the time out. i have allergies just about all year long yeah my nose is always sniffly it's not something that I can do anything about. And so then during the just, height, during the height of all the COVID stuff, we'll just bring her anywhere. And since she's sniffling and sneezing, just, people are like, okay, you guys go no, first, get out, go. No, whatever. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? We still don't go anywhere. We, we really don't. I don't anyways. <clears throat> yeah. Allergy bros unite. <gasps> do I get to be a bro? No, I'm, I'm too old and lack of penis. So, um, do any of the yeah, changes Toronto out. made? Really? <laughs> Shannon. Oh my gosh. You See, said it. Make me... I didn't say you said it. Totally make me lose. I don't, 
Uh, Where, okay, here we go. Do any of the changes Toronto made really matter with what Boston did, though? Well, yeah, because you you <clears throat> like focusing on just what one other team does, I think, is a mistake that teams have made. The Canucks made that mistake after they lost to Boston in the final in 2011. They overcorrected and they made their team arguably worse in 2012 and they wrote the first round. Uh, you have to make your moves to make sure that your team's better. I think Toronto's done that. And I think Ryan O'Reilly could be huge for them in the playoffs. Hey, Shannon, big fan. What are your thoughts on Brent Burns' resurgence? And do you think he can continue to, can continue to live up to this level despite his old age? Brent Burns is in ridiculous shape. Uh, he has he been is. in ridiculous shape his whole career. Uh, he just looks homeless from here up. Uh, he is he the guy's ripped. Uh, as long as he's motivated, and I think part of what it might be is going from San Jose, where things are just a mess, to going to Carolina, where they they want him to go out there and get points. Slavin's there for the defense. Pesci's there for the defense. He can just play his game. I think it's it's not a coincidence that both Carlson and Burns bounce back this year. <laughs> Having those two together, I think, was a mistake. Everyone can be a bro. <laughs> Give her a backwards hat. Oh, then I look all goofy. Who can Even I see better if I had the Carlson stickers on it summer. still. Uh, if if Eric Carlson becomes available this summer, uh, there there will be teams that are willing to make that move. Uh, maybe one of the young teams looks and says, you know what? If like like Detroit, like Buffalo, maybe one of those ones looks and says, hey, we can add Eric Carlson. We can really speed up this getting into the playoffs thing. Uh, keeping in mind that Carlson's really having a career year, I don't expect him to keep these numbers up next year. Uh, what are your thoughts on super teams like the Rangers? Good for the game. Chance to win. Love your videos. Throughout history, when when you see this kind of ar like arms race, a lot of the time the teams that arm themselves like this don't win. Um, the Rangers in the late 90s, early 2000s had so many really good players. And then as a team, it didn't really work. So you have to make sure the chemistry is there. Talent's one thing, but you have to have chemistry. And that can be tough to measure. Uh, Giranov, first goal with the Habs. His skill set looks good. Hope he can be somewhat consistent. Giranov's a very talented forward. The The issue with, with Giranov hasn't been the talent. It's just been his hands haven't kept up with his feet. And he just didn't have any finish. So... We'll see if that if that changes in Montreal. I'm really hopeful that it does because he showed during stretches in Dallas what he could do. Okay, the Flames acquire Stetcher from the Coyotes. Good. It's been reported Chuck Fletcher fletchered up the trade. JVR is still a flyer. Oh, so that got reversed. Well, that's enough of that then. <clears throat> we'll see what happened with that one. See, that's why I'm glad we don't have the board up. Because right. then people are like, oh, you got to take that one off. Oh, don't forget this one. Shannon, give a massage to your wife, like Every on day. video, or because that seems kind of icky. Shannon is an amazing husband. He, he yeah, Shannon's good. Don't Every, you worry. Every day, Shannon does give me shoulder massages because since since that my ridiculous sewing from the pandemic, where I was sewing all the surgical caps for the hospitals, my shoulder has been horrible. It has not got better. So nope. Shannon does um, rub my shoulders. He's very nice. Hockey guy and resident therapist. <laughs> Best husband ever. Nope. Uh, interesting about Yotes. Did Flames get stadium sorted or not? I vaguely remember them wanting a new stadium. Uh, no. Now, what <clears throat> happened was a new mayor came in and decided to add a bunch of extra costs to Calgary that the city had, I think, originally agreed to pay for. And so the team said no. I expect that to get worked out. I, I can't see the Flames staying in the Saddle Dome for very much longer. That building needs to be replaced. And I, the city needs the Calgary Flames. I cannot see a situation where they're not in Calgary or where they don't get that building. It's just a matter of when. Would the pa Panthers potentially move? There's an out in their... There's an out in their lease. And I'm trying to remember if it's this summer or next summer. There's a there's an out in their lease that's coming up um, if the team wasn't making enough money. However, if the Coyotes decided, OK, or Coyotes, if the Panthers decided, OK, we're we're going to move because we're not making enough money here in Sunrise, they would stay in Florida. There's no way the NHL would allow a move out of that market. Uh, maybe something closer to Miami, although 
you know, there's some diciness about where you'd go there too, but I, I can't see them leaving that market. Oh, it is new, which means trade deadline is officially over, but trades can still come in. So there can still be the ones that they, they did finish before the deadline, but they have to do the paperwork for it and then yep. they'll announce it. So yep. a lot of times we do hear more trades. So we'll, after we'll let it's the, actually the deadline. We'll let the live stream go about another 20 minutes. <clears throat> Thoughts on the Kraken standing pat at the deadline? I don't think they needed very much. Could they use an upgrade in goal? Sure. Was the upgrade out there? Probably not. We didn't see goaltenders really get moved today. So odds are the market isn't where Seattle would have wanted it to be. Uh, hope they don't move to Miami. See, and that's the thing. Miami's not a great sports town for for them to move pro hockey into. So it's just a matter of finding that sweet spot. <laughs> um, oh, what are you drinking? This is uh, Dr. Pepper and cream soda, oh, zero sugar. Oh. I got Turns that in out, the, the States a few weeks ago. Yeah, it's not in down Canada. To the American grocery store. Ever since 2020, the fun flavors of soda no longer exist in Canada. You have to go to the states to get them, and even in the states, they have fewer. And they're expensive. It, it's pricey. It's so much more expensive. So I love cherry vanilla states. Coke. I love vanilla Coke. I love cherry Coke. Mm. And so you combine, of course, uh, the Dr Pepper, uh, and then cherry cherry Dr Pepper Zero as well. I I only drink the diet soda, and so they have way more of the various diet sodas in the states than they do in Canada. Yeah, just pricey. So, yeah. But I don't go down to the States very often. It no. always feels like such an ordeal. You're going to have to go but down. Every, I know. Yeah. Well, because it's Gabriel's birthday's in like a week and a half, and we have birthday presents down there. I still have a birthday I mail things to the States yet. sometimes because the um, shipping can be a lot cheaper sometimes. A lot cheaper <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you can get free American shipping, but it'll cost like $30 to mail it here. Yeah. I so. used to get jerseys delivered to mm. the States because it was so much cheaper than getting delivered into Canada. Right. Uh, best move today, Greenway to Buffalo. That That's a smart move for Buffalo. I think Buffalo is going to be happy. Minnesota gets back a couple of picks. They'll be happy with that. And the change needed to happen. He needed to move on. And, and I think it was a move where both team and player will be happy. What is cream soda? Um, it's like vanilla soda. Vanilla. It's delicious. Trying to think, how do you describe cream soda? It's kind of it's like if ice cream was a soda. Yeah, it's the smooth. Sweet I flavor. do not drink soda. Um, I don't like carbonation. I don't like the overly sweetness. But every you once can in a while, drink flat cream soda. <clears throat> you don't mind flat every cream soda. once in a while. I'll have like a ginger ale. But other than that, I I don't really like soda. I don't. Teams do I think I, battle I like in the tea. West final? With the way things are going right now. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Vegas and Colorado. And I think that would be a fantastic series if that happened. Cream soda is the bomb. Yes. Oh, the white freezies. Those are the best. Mm -hmm. Cream soda is like bubblegum flavor. No, no I don't disagree. like bubblegum flavor. Yuck. Yeah, bubblegum gum flavor is gross. No, I'm not a fan of bubblegum yeah. flavor. <laughs> and then they had cherry flavored crush at one point. And I thought, oh, that sounds fantastic. And it tasted just like carbonated uh, cough syrup. So I had one sip and I was like, nope. <laughs> and this was like years ago. And I remember my kids, I was like, so I got this cherry uh, crush. Do you guys want it? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Why is there something wrong with it? You guys, you never offer a soda. <laughs> well, I just, I love you. And I just, I think, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then it was. This tastes like cough syrup, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought too. <laughs> right? You guys want it. Go ahead. Um, what do you think of the avalanche at the deadline? Uh, there there wasn't much out there that was going to improve their fortunes. The abs are in this position where with Landis Gog and Makar out, they're still playing well enough. Uh, the, the problem is Landis Gog may not return this season. And so it's really going to test their depth and, and what they're going to be able to do. Um, Colorado, I don't think, has had a second-line center this year. And and I I think that that's something that they're going to have to work on this coming summer. We'll see if they're able to get through a playoff run. Uh, 
And again, with Georgiev as the starter, it's going to be interesting because he hasn't really gone through a playoff run himself either. Oh, cranberry, zero ginger ale. I do like that one. My favorite is the blackberry, but they haven't had the blackberry in years. But that used to be a summer one. See, I love raspberry really like Schweppes, blackberry. but they never had the cranberry it. Cranberry is good. We do get that one every once in a while. The kids really like that one too. Raspberry Schweppes, they used to consider like my version of champagne because it is, you know, similar yeah. color and everything. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they don't they don't have a diet version of that. Like sparkling cider. It's very nice. When in the US do you guys shop at Fred Meyer or Winco? Winco. Winco. Sometimes they go to Fred Meyer, but it's one of those hit and miss things where sometimes things are way more expensive. Fred Meyer, I find when we're in there, we do a lot more browsing and a lot less actual shopping. Yeah. Whereas like, well, in Winco, there's... we know where we're going. We know what we're going to pick up. And for things that we like to buy, Winco has better selection. And usually in larger portions for cheaper prices. Yeah. <clears throat> you don't drink exclusively Canada Dry or ginger ale, I do. I don't think I ever buy other ginger no, I've, ale. I've done Schweppes. I haven't bought Schweppes in forever. Orlando Like really, Panthers when was the last soon? time we had Schweppes in the house? No, I, I haven't in a long Forever. Time. Orlando, Orlando would be an interesting location for them because they need to have Disney tie-ins as well. If you did it right. You'd have Disney on the West Coast and Disney on the East Coast. It'd be kind of fun. What of like Drew Ant, Colorado? Uh, the problem with Drew Ant, zero goals. Uh, Drew Ant, the, the offense is just not there. And I would imagine that the contract might be problematic as well. Newest diet soda in the States, Dr. Pepper, strawberries and cream. That sounds fantastic. I might have to see if I can find that next time in that the States. Fantastic. If they have that at Winco, yeah. I'll grab I like the sound it. of that. Um, who do you think will make the West Coast Finals? Uh, it, I, I, yeah, Colorado and Vegas are would be my guesses. The the Pacific's tough because there isn't really a starting goaltender in the Pacific that I think I have a ton of confidence in to win two series. Uh, Skinner could do that for Edmonton. Uh, we know Campbell's been a bit of a flop for Edmonton, and and yeah, there's just a lot of unknowns in the Pacific. What's your go-to energy drink? No, I that's mine. Don't do, I don't do energy drinks. Mm -mm. I I cough syrup. Nasty. A little, a little bit at one point in time, but no, never. Yeah, I, I just, I just don't. Uh, they're disgusting, and caffeine doesn't affect me, so there's no point in me drinking them. <laughs> yeah, but then you get taurine and morine and all yeah. the other taurines. And I, I did get um energy drinks one time because I was doing a long drive, and I was. I hadn't got a lot of street, a lot of sleep. And so I thought, okay, well, you know, this will help keep me awake. It made me feel like crap. And it's like drinking cough syrup. It was nasty. So no, but no, Blech. it's so gross. <laughs> They're so gross. Yeah. I'm not an but, energy drink. Yeah, no, and and ick. a lot of the advertising now for energy drinks really ick. feels like idiocracy. <laughs> it really feels like Brondo. It's what plants crave. <laughs> They're so gross. They're made of electrolytes. Yeah, but what are electrolytes? And all that They're what crap in there can't be good for you, right? They're what they used to make uh, Brondo. Yeah. yeah, but how do they make Brondo? They make it with electrolytes. Like, it's just, that's what it feels like with a lot of the energy drinks now. Yeah, One of the it, greatest movies ever is Idiocracy. It really is. The boys think that movie's hilarious, too. It is yeah, But it's great. got electrolytes and stuff. Yeah. Right? Stuff. That's what we need. It's got electrolytes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessary. Roxy, <laughs> yeah, welcome to Costco. I yeah. love you. Shannon might say that quite frequently. Every time we go to Costco. <laughs> yes. Every time we go to Costco. Yes. <laughs> Idiocracy is a documentary. <clears throat> um, it's what plants crave. Yeah, see, we, <laughs> Carl's are just Jr. quoting it. <laughs> I still, Carl yeah, Jr., I still water say, yep. From the toilet? <laughs> Uh, he's the smartest guy are you sure you're the smartest guy <laughs> um joe told them that he understood what the plants were saying and they wanted water who dropped the ball today i think the jets and the canes needed to add jets added they got vlad domestikov what more do you expect <laughs> from the jets uh i i think i'm surprised that that the canes didn't do more i really am very surprised that carolina didn't do more I think that they're a team that's right near the top of the standings, but they need something to get them over the hump. Once Pacioretty went out, it was clear that they needed another plan for their goal scoring, and I I don't know. 
I, I think that New Jersey kind of moves ahead of them right now. Opinion on King of the Hill, best animated show ever. Disagree. I liked King of the Hill. I did I liked not. King of the Hill. I got a kick out of King of the Hill. I I did enjoy mm -hmm. that one. Nope. Um, because it was Wilson from from uh, Beavis and Butthead, basically turned into Hank Hill, Pass. and I mean I love Beavis and Butthead too. I still think that the Beavis and Butthead do America is one of the funniest movies. You've seen the movie, right? I don't know. You haven't seen the movie? Oh I'm, man, the movie's I'm great. I'm not saying I haven't. The movie's I, great. I just don't know. All right, so now Pass. I know what we're doing oh, tonight. No, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch Sing. Beavis and Butthead do America. I don't because it's great. No, it's not. go deep and hard on them, boys. Oh my gosh, Shannon. <laughs> okay, are you surprised Tampa didn't get a defenseman? I mean, mildly. Uh, I think a lot of the deals got done before oh. deadline day. I think that's Doesn't what they're get dealing with than on here. Family guy, guy. Oh, worst show ever. Family. Okay, Family Guy. Worst if it's if it's a ever. Stewie and Brian episode, no. I love the Stewie and show Brian episodes. Is... Everything else, no. Stewie and Brian episodes, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, did I miss a super chat? Okay, hold on. I will go find it. But, Wouldn't the uh, mods be telling you? Well, sometimes Lars tells me, but sometimes Lars oh, missed stuff too because he's... Oh, see? Ha, he like spoke and I see Lars just message me. Yeah. He, you're on top of it today, Lars. Okay. Todd. Oh my gosh, so tiny. McClellan made a comment regarding hasn't given up on Cal Pedersen. What are your thoughts? Does he return back to the Kings, traded, or stay in AHL? Uh, Peterson's a really tough one. Lives. That contract is really, really tough. Uh, I like Cal Peterson, but what a brutal year he's had. I hope he gets this game back in the AHL. Because his contract's not tradable, I think he probably stays his LA property throughout the summer. You might get somebody to work with him over the summer. A lot, with a goaltender, a lot of the times it can be psychological as well. So you work on that side of it too. And you, you try to get him to a position where he can at least be one of your two goaltenders next year. Um, but yeah, with that contract, you, you have to try. And I think the Kings will try to get him back. Because Peterson, I think it was four years ago uh, that I was praising Peterson. I thought he was really, really good. Clearly the Kings felt that too. That's why I signed him to, to that contract. And it just hasn't worked. Mike Judge made Beavis and Butthead and King of the Hill. Legendary. Yep. Yep. And he also wrote uh, Idiocracy and The Office. Or not The Office. Um, office Space. Okay. That was Mike Judge, too. He do, He's the uh, the boss for Jennifer Aniston that's telling her to wear a oh, flare. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Playing the exact same character as from Beavis and Butthead, the teacher. The hippy-dippy teacher. All right. So, Yeah. Same, same, same idea. What do you think of the Canucks giving away first pick? Well, it's it's the Islanders one, so it's not as valuable as theirs, but I don't like it. I don't like the Canucks giving up a draft pick uh, in a year where they're down and it's a draft pick from the Islanders that could end up being top 15 in what's considered an excellent draft. Uh, the Detroit Red Wings now have two top 15 draft picks. They could take those two picks and push them together and get into the top 10 potentially and get a really good player. So we'll see what happens with Detroit, but I, I think Detroit won that trade on that basis. Uh, Briz Bra says late round picks are overrated. Doesn't that put the shoe on the other foot now? Why should sellers accept worthless late round picks? They're overrated, but if you have two or three picks in the sixth round, you might be able to move up, get a fifth rounder. I, I think there's a lot of that trading that goes on where guys move up and teams move down and they get extra picks. It's a lottery style idea of, yeah, if you pick a guy in the fifth round, he's less likely to make it. So you pick up three or four of them and then you have a better chance of getting somebody. The Wild have acquired John Klingberg from the Ducks. There you go. John Klingberg's now a member of the oh. Wild. Well, so they've got two today right oh we don't have yeah, board yet they got <laughs> sunquist and they got klingberg today there we go yeah i'll be doing up the board <clears throat> after right that'll and be good on the board um so for teams that that didn't get anything done today i made this magnet up which is which is donald duck there you go and and he doesn't look very happy <laughs> this is this is the angry donald duck i knew this would come in handy today so <clears throat> that'll that'll be fun plus plus the one I made up today, too, um, 
could be could be this, which is fan bases laughing at certain other fan bases and teams. This this also could get used on a recap board. I'm not going to lie because I I love the idea of that. Good choice, with Donald. Wait, the Ritchie yeah, brothers were traded for each don't other. Need to do anything. Very true. The Ritchie brothers were traded for each other. I don't know that I've ever seen that. Have, oh. have brothers been traded for each other before? Oh, that's kind of odd. Hey, we're on the same team. No. Hey, so I just got traded to what? Well, crap. <laughs> that's weird. I mean, Nick Ritchie's an upgrade over Brett Ritchie, but. If they have homes, they could just trade. Wow, that's weird. Okay, you move into my place. I'll move into your place. Works. Nice. Kind of, kind swap of a bit jerseys. Of a... See? They don't even have to worry about. Oh, but we they already are, had a bunch are, of his jersey made up. I think they're the same size. <gasps> Perfect. I think they're both well, the same size the stores, too. So. Right. You know how sometimes a player gets traded and, right. oh, crap, we have to put these on clearance. They don't. Well, numbers. They could just we have totally have the same number for Nick Ritchie's jersey <laughs> in in Calgary. They could just just take a small little other, just, and just cross put other it over out, top. put the other number on top. Other other Ritchie, <laughs> and just leave the number the same. There you go. Other Ritchie. I like that. Cross it out and just put the number like to the side or something. Wow, this so works. you trade brothers for each other. That just I don't ah. I feel bad for Brett kind of because he goes from Calgary to Arizona. But anyways, we'll see what happens with the Flames now. Uh, do you think Montreal not in full tank mode is a mistake or not? Montreal has a ton of young players. They've had a ton of draft mm. picks over the last three years. They don't need more middling third round picks. I think for Montreal, um, next year is going to be an interesting one. They have cap space. They have a lot of good young players. Their Their defense is underrated. I think they're going to get better fast. And if they win the draft lottery, even if they end up winning, say, the second pick, uh, Fantilli looks like he's going to be very good. This this could be a very, very interesting time for Montreal coming up. Uh, Richie parents are going to be so happy. See, they agree. We love you the same, LOL. <laughs> See, look at even hockey says you guys are equal. <laughs> yeah. Montreal, too proud to tank. Well, the team and the players aren't mm. going to tank. Like players no, don't go players out on the ice don't. and try to lose. Players uh, always. GMs in. GMs will weaken their roster knowing that they're going to lose a mm. bunch of games, but the players on the ice don't tank. That's why we're seeing Anaheim, Columbus, and Chicago put up good records over the last month because, yeah, teams don't generally tank. Do you think with the addition of Nino and Nemestikov, the Jets can start winning starting tonight? Who are they playing today? I didn't. Uh, tonight Edmonton. they're playing the Oilers. They're in Edmonton. Oh, that would be a fun And then tomorrow, fun game. tomorrow they're at home against Edmonton. Oh, back so to back. Back to backs. Yep. Oh, that'll be fun. What's today? Oh, I can't watch it today. Of course, they always play the fun games. But it's I at six watch. o'clock. I have to drive Adelaide to Vancouver. Do you want me to call Edmonton? Right, you should. Sorry, Tell them. my you wife guys is hold busy. the game for Can two you? hours. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, if you guys could play it. Do you want me to record late. it? No, I don't. No, I don't watch recorded hockey. Because I can record it, and I won't give you any spoilers. Whatever. I'll even keep your phone. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. Drive to Vancouver without a phone. That'd be cool. Cool, cool. Wow, Ro Rasmus Asplund only got a seventh round pick in 2025. Love the Flames Jeez. doing a whole bunch of nothing. They <laughs> switched Richies. What more do you want from them? They switched Richies. Record the phone call to Edmonton. Do these trades help or hurt the Blue Jackets? Um, I, I mean, the Blue Jackets know they're at the bottom of the league. Right now, it's just about, you know, trying to maximize return on expiring assets. I think Columbus has done well enough. As I mentioned earlier, too, I like what they did with Jonathan Quick, that when he didn't want to go there, they worked out a situation where he could go somewhere else, and they did it immediately. Uh, Yarmo Kekalainen didn't let it drag on, and, and I think... <laughs> Yarmo's done a decent job. I think injuries have hurt Columbus this year, and I think they're betting on some kind of a bounce back next year. The Richie Switchy. That's a That's good a name good, for it. I see you're Richie and raise you a Richie. Yeah. I like the Richie Switchy. That's very clever. Good job. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never thought I'd see a rich switch. Mm -hmm. uh, That's funny. Okay. Good uh, are you going to Seattle if they make the playoffs? Oh, during the playoffs, yeah, that would be really See, hard. Playoffs, playoffs are a challenge because the channel does really, really well during the playoffs. 
during um, hockey it's a challenge. but i also have more <clears throat> more free time so what's weird is there's a lot fewer games going on so i have more free time i can spend more time with yvonne and with the kids which is awesome and we can start doing meetups and stuff so if we threw in going to a playoff game in seattle which would be very expensive oh my god take a lot of time i don't know We'd have to stay over, the, stay the night in Seattle as well. And we have kids. It uh, that we yeah. cannot leave at home. It, it gets it gets a little bit dicey. So I I don't think we'd be able to do that. Yvonne wearing Oilers on game day is a good omen. And Against look at Jets. how beautiful this. But look at how beautiful this. See, if I'd is. thought about it, I would have worn my Jets reverse retro and told you your turncoat the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> you would too. This jersey's beautiful though. Pecan Subban. Oh, I See, remember that one. And people. New mods. Great work today. Yes. Mods have done awesome today. Yes, job, you guys, guys are great. The the stream, the chat has been pretty easy to follow, even when I got super behind. Fine. Um, Thank you guys Shadow. for being nice and decent human beings in the chats, because I know chats on YouTube can frequently be a cesspool. We, we try really hard to keep our comment sections chat like including the discord on facebook we mm -hmm. try and keep them decent so yeah. that people feel like they can actually come on here and have conversations with other people um so thank you guys for being decent human beings and thank you to the mods because our mods are amazing and they make our lives so much easier it has helped so much having Absolutely. lots of mods on here. I, yep. We are very, very grateful for our mods, both on YouTube and on the Discord. It's really nice having awesome people that help us. So, yep. Do you think a team will do a Lindros move and overpay to move up and draft Bedard? Montreal could offer two first Slav and multiple players and prospects. Everyone says it's crazy, but Avs won trade. I can't see anybody moving that Bedard pick. Uh, Bedard seen as a franchise changing player. I can't see anybody trading that pick. I, I just can't see it. I don't think there's any chance that happens. Have you done a John Scott career video? Nope. At this point, I have not. You guys are great. Start to the top. Aw, thanks. Thank you. Greatly Thank you, it. decent humans. There's, yeah. It it is nice when when the the chat's decent. We've had streams before where you get so many people that are trying to cause trouble and just some people say horrible things. And then when we're done, we're both just like, oh, that was a lot. And yeah, but this this hasn't been bad, even nope. with lots of people. So nope, it's been good. It's it's very nice. <clears throat> um, have you ever wanted to go to a game at the Garden? It can be so electric when they're doing well, of course. I I would love I would love to go to to, to Madison Square Garden. <clears throat> MSG that is that is definitely one Shannon really wants to do. Um, New York Times Square, all of it. I would love to do all of that. That'd be just awesome. But I think Klingberg will be moved from the Ducks. He was. Uh, he has uh, been traded to the Minnesota Wild. Uh, Klingberg had a rough start. He's been better lately. I think it's a good pickup for Minnesota. Mm. Solidifies that blue line a little bit. I think that'll be great. I, I like what Minnesota did today. I think they Me did pretty too. well. That'll be great. <clears throat> the hockey guy got traded to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now he is a fan. <laughs> can Ottawa... Uh, um, let's see. Ottawa can make the wild card. <laughs> Ottawa, Ottawa can can get into that wild card spot, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. I'm glad that Pierre Dorian is doubling down on believing in this team. I think that's a good move on his part. Uh, as for Toronto, I will say this: while I'm not a Toronto fan, generally, if Toronto if Toronto went on a run in the playoffs, those would be the most popular videos in playoffs on this channel ever. Uh, Toronto videos generally get a lot of views, so I'm not a Toronto fan, but I, I do like the channel getting we more views. We have a Toronto so fan torn. in our house, though. Yeah. We do. Which shows I have no influence on the children whatsoever. None. <laughs> my mom's pretty sure it's genetic because my grandmother really liked the Maple Leafs. So. Yeah. I'm like, I like the Bruins, and she's cheering for the Leafs. What in the world is going on? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, I 
I was going to read one and I lost it now. Sorry. My flyers are done for. Oh, somebody asked if we've been to Dallas. We really Sadly, haven't no. been very many places. Um, both of us have been very poor for our entire lives. And yeah. so we have only been able to travel at all in any capacity leave, for the past couple of years. I didn't leave Chilliwack for about a <clears throat> decade. I hadn't been outside of, of, of the city, quotes, of Chilliwack for about a decade. Um, and so all of the traveling that we do, and that's new to me, I've never done anything like that. So, so there's not many places yeah. we've gone to. Um, like I never went to Disneyland until right. three years ago when we went together. I've right. never been there. And same with Vegas. That's yep. like our Vegas is since the channel blew up. That was 2018 yep. was the first time we went. And to then Vegas. we've been to Seattle and Oregon. We went to LA. Yep. Well, Oregon, that was yeah. for the for the, the eclipse. eclipse. Yeah. Have we we haven't really gone anywhere else? Yeah. I have been to I went to Minnesota once and then I've been to France. I think that's about it. Oh, and I'm traveling around Canada a bit, but I haven't really been past Alberta. I've been to Alberta quite a bit, different places in Alberta, but I have not gone any further east than Alberta. I've been around BC quite a bit going up north, but okay. yeah, neither of us have Did really I traveled I see much. Bruce Boudreaux's comment on the Flames. Pretty insightful. Love to see him replace Sutter. What do the Flames do about coaching? If they miss the playoffs this year, I think the I think the Flames will make a change behind the bench. I I don't know if Boudreaux would be the direction they'd go. He's a very good players coach. I I think they'd probably look for somebody younger, maybe somebody within the organization. My prediction, Landy, will start with the Avs mid-month pick a home game. I would say against Chicago. See, and there's reports that Landis Cog might not play at all this season. I've seen that. I'm hoping that's not true because I'd love to see Landis Cog come back. But there are some reports out there about whether or not he's coming back this year. Oh, somebody looked it up. That is the first time brothers have been traded. That's insane. Go. That's absolutely insane. That's like a Jeopardy question right there. That's that's just because I mean just seeing it and I'm like wait they were traded for each other why why not have them play together which which team hates their Richie more like I just I that's that's such an odd move if y'all looking for somebody to stir up trouble y'all wearing jerseys from the 2006 Stanley Cup Finals yeah and I win. I win I have game a seven. Jersey, I win though, so doesn't matter. I won. I win. My Stanley Cup rings in this year. I can't hear you. <laughs> um, Good boy. Shannon will do a video when we're all done oh, yeah. doing this. He's going to write up a board that yeah. has the big trades, and he will yeah. give his little bit of insight for yeah. that. So don't worry, he will get to that. Yeah. As there soon will as be a video as soon as we're done here. with this. I will be doing up a video on what was done today and what wasn't done. Um, and just get into all the trade deadline stuff. I'm sure there will be winners and losers declared from this year's trade deadline. Um, I'm not going to declare any winners at this point in time, uh, but I, I do like what Minnesota did. Mm -hmm. um, I like Ottawa's trade deadline overall. I like the idea of them staying in the hunt, and I like Toronto's too. I think Toronto's done well, but of course Boston, when you look at the trade deadline overall, man, Orlov looks absolutely fantastic in Boston. It's just rejuvenated him. Huge, huge rejuvenation uh -huh. for him. I like the wild mug. I know. So I had an old, these are the Tervis. I really like the Tervises Is that for the one my I just got you? Yeah, I was just going to say, my old one had like a big wild logo, but it got a crack in it. And so Shannon got me a new one and I really like this. Had to one. replace it. Good yeah. husband, you got to replace those. Yeah. Shannon knows I like my, my big mugs for my tea because I drink tea all the time. <laughs> yes. All right. So uh, it is, it is 1230. I love you guys too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to shut this down now so I can get into all the trade stuff and do a video do on that. Do you go to Cultus Lake? Yeah. I used to go to Cultus Lake all the time. But There's so many people back in there the day. now in the past, what, four years? The number of people that go out to Cultus Lake has gone, yeah, it's gone way up, up so much. Way up. Um, we take the kids to the Cultus Lake water slides, and I like going out. If you go out further, out to Maple mm -hmm. Bay, that one's fun. I take the kids camping out there sometimes, but now in the past few years, there's too many people. 
I'd rather yeah, go crazy. like up to Sla Slave Lake or something like that. Yeah. We have so many lakes to choose from. And Cultus Lake just has too many people. Yeah. You Chilliwack up, Lake's really nice. You go up Chilliwack Lake Road. There's all kinds of lakes <laughs> yeah. on the way up there. I really yeah, like going up to Chilliwack Lake. To go. um, going out. Um, Lindemann. To... Lindemann's a good one. Have you been to Lindemann? Probably. You should go to Lindemann Lake. I don't remember which one that is. It's a good one. Um, it's a little bit of a hike to get in there. But I like going there, up. Any of them out in the the Sasquatch Provincial Park. That's really pretty out there too. You got to watch the Sasquatch though. Know, there's. They're nice. There's a so bunch okay. of them. I know, but they're nice. So they work in the gift shop. Uh, they happy do. to make this live. Always up to date on information. Great job. Prefer this channel to all. Well, thank you. That's greatly appreciated. Because Shannon's so cute. But at any rate, uh, we should we should get going. There's other things to get done today. And oh, partying super chat. It's Monday thank and all. You. And thank you guys so much. I do much really for coming appreciate in. all the super chats. Super so chats are great. Oh. Uh, thank you so much. My YouTube reps going to be very happy. <laughs> Um, they like to talk to us about our live streams. Is keeping is keeping Ed and Hoff an underrated move? Uh, if you mean Hoffman and Edmondson, yeah, I I think it's important for Montreal, and and I understand the the need for a sell, but I, I guess the assets just weren't out there. Same as Anderson, right? The assets just weren't out there, so <laughs> it's yeah, too we'll crowded there, so nobody goes there anymore. I think locals don't like to go there so much. And a lot of tourists come in. A lot a of the lot. people drive from Vancouver now to come out to Cultus Lake, which yeah. I find kind of interesting because there's so many lakes. In between. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go north anyways, a little bit and there's a ton. Uh, thanks, guys, for coming out. We will do another live stream soon. It will not be that long. Um, I Especially would say once we get so. to playoffs when there's not games yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll find time and I'll make sure that they're posted well in advance. So you guys know when the next, next live stream is coming up. But this trade deadline was kind of quiet because it was crazy before. And I'm actually okay with that. I'm fine with that. So thank you guys so much for coming out. And I hope you guys all had a lot of fun at the live stream. Oh, with are the, there the lakes trade deadline. besides Cultus Alouette? Chilliwack. Oh, oh, there's a bunch, bunch no, of lakes. They can in launch boats. Yeah, there are. There's a bunch north up outside of Mission. There's quite a few yeah. lakes that you can take your boat to. I think you can do a Chilliwack Lake, but that's a long drive. Chilliwack Lake, just because it's called Chilliwack. Chilliwack from Chilliwack Lake, it's uh, it's still a long drive from yeah. from the main road there. It's it's quite a ways. But yeah. anyways. Uh, thanks for coming out, guys. We will do this again no, soon. No, we need to do the Disneyland video. We do I need have to do the Disneyland video. Shannon. That's going to be coming soon. It's just been crazy with the trade deadline. Now that that's done, uh, we will have time to do the Disneyland video. Clearly, I'm incorporating Disney magnets now into the channel. So, a bit of a cross promotion there. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Oh, there's another one. Uh, can Chicago lose every game the rest of the season with current roster? Or should they try to dump them? <laughs> well, I think they tried. Um, and in all honesty, getting rid of Domi is going to help them lose a bunch of games because Domi was their offense for the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, Chicago, I think, is going to going to lose a bunch from here going forward. A lot of the teams that sold are going to lose a bunch going forward because they just don't have the that 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 talent level now that's been degraded by the deadline. And thank you guys for all the love for the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Oh, gosh. Lakes around Sasquatch, Hemlock Mountain, other than Harrison for ski boats. I'm trying to think. I, a lot no of the, the lakes up there, you can only have the smaller boats. Yep. I will have to think about that one. I'm taking the kids up there the for our spring break. The kids are so excited. We haven't been there since last year. Yeah. So I just -E -G that video. yesterday. They're can do super that. excited. Anyways, guys. An ember mug. I'll have to look that up. Thanks for coming yeah. out. Yeah, I know. This always <laughs> they keep talking to I know, me. I know, but we'll we'll come we'll come back. <laughs> I, I used to live in Ontario. Um I but I was very, very, very little at the time. So I didn't go out on the lake because I was like two. But yeah. Um, we lived in Petawawa. Anyways, uh, thanks guys for coming out. <laughs> we'll do this again soon. And uh, yeah, All right, you good? Yes. I'm, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just, I am reading got in the a lake discussion. I, yes, I see people talking about it. Still Painting here. on the flame straight. It's weird to see brother for brother. I will be talking about all the trades in the video that I'll do. I'm gonna put up a board, get that all done up, and uh, I will talk to you guys again soon. So, uh, thanks for thanks for coming <laughs> no, out. It's been great. <laughs> And we'll do this again soon.